after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lot's finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made. Full and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pen Hook and Needles podcast, episode 153. It is Monday, May 4th, 2015. And as you can see, we have a guest for a short period of time. I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico. And I am Talia, known as Franciscan Gypsy, all over the internet. And I'm almost <laughs> everywhere. Mm-hmm. And I'm Davina Fernandez. I am uh, Drama Queen 7. Yay! Okay. Um, yeah, We the reason Davina is here is because we received a surprise package in the mail. Mm-hmm. And um, before we even welcome anybody, well, maybe we should welcome first, or should we just go ahead? Let's just go ahead. We've already started. Okay. we got a, a very... This is going to be a very out-of-order episode yeah so anyway yeah, yeah so we wanted to um we got a very special package in the mail about a week ago give or take about something like that because I was actually on a work stretch and you had no I was off yeah. it was right after the last podcast because I slept in a, late because the podcast had issues loading right that's right and you were mad because you, you didn't want to open the package without me right. I slept almost to the point that you guys went to bed I will I woke up as if we're going to open it without you because they're Two thirds of us are awake and you're not. So, <laughs> but we waited for her because she got up. But and we would have waited for her anyway. But anyway, we're digressing. So she claims we got um, a surprise package from B Wing, who is Brittany, um, and it was a very very sweet thing to do. She gave us what you see us wearing. <laughs> Sorry, the cowls <laughs> that we were wearing and, and this um, hitchhiker. Do you want to do this or not? Yes, we're doing this. <laughs> okay. So what are you wearing, kiddo? I'm wearing. Excuse me for a minute. I am wearing a pink cowl that uh, that you yeah, made Mrs. me bring. Ewing? That Mrs. Ewing made me. Thank you, Mrs. Ewing. I'm going to uh, to draw. Yeah. I'm going to draw you a picture and write a thank you note when 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 I get the chance. I I hope to I hope it'll be soon. But right now I have to fi- I have to finish an, another picture and thank you note that I'm working but on. You'll get it off relatively but, soon. But, it, but I'll get it off re- re- relatively soon. Okay. And what are you wearing, Ty? And I am wearing. Also, hang on. Let's show. It's a beautiful tag. Hang on, Keto. You can put this back on if you want to afterwards. Oops. Unless you wear that over her head. She'll actually probably wear that over her head. Oh, yeah. Let's show that way of doing it after we're done. Well, let's show the tag here. There, Mom. Hang on. Let's make it so it's the proper direction. No, see? Look, here's the... Okay, then she was wearing it inside out, then. Was I? You might have been. You always wear your Zuzus inside out, too. (laughs) (laughs) So, So bring that back. Nice um, basket weave pattern, looks like. So, hold on. It's focusing. Pretty card from Brittany. With care instructions, there we go. And this is, um, look at this lovely yarn. This is totally Davina's color. Yeah, I think you're right, Mom, basket weave. Very pretty. Now, I want to show it as it would be if she wore it over her head. Hey, Davina, did you want to tag off while I put it over yeah, your head? Yeah, please. Just make sure to keep the tag in a special place, okay? Because it tells you how to wash it and everything, okay? But also, it's just kind of cool. Yes, it is. Here you go. The tag's even the nice color. Your one of your yeah. Is your put a color. yellow ribbon for that? Yellow's my favorite color. Yeah. Hang on. What's the tune for yellow ribbon? I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know the uh, the tune really. I've never. I don't ever listen. Cause she yellow yeah. ribbon. Mm-hmm. That's not what I meant, but yeah, that was. Good oh, too. this is really cute. cute this way. It does look cute. Oh, yeah. Davina, you need to wear it this way. I will. Look at that. It looks like a suit. Oh nice. no no no! It looks like a kerchief. I oh, like it. Oh, Davina, you are adorable that way. <laughs> Maybe all I need is the shades. I feel like Audrey Hepburn. Oh, I can just that's die. so cute. Very nice. Thank okay. you. Okay. So, right. there's mm-hmm. Davina with the kerchief. Then I, which is actually a cow. Which is actually a cow. Hang on. What? You don't want to wear that? That. <laughs> now I'm now I'm a uh, half pirate, half uh, half. Cowboy. Actually, you look like um one of those pioneer women who. Yeah. Just finish washing your clothes or whatever. I prefer looking like a, like a pirate, thank you very much. Okay, so this is really, excuse the hair. That's the upstairs downstairs, right? I think so. Yes. so I look, look this like is why I wear the hat. Because right. I haven't been to bed yet and I have bad hair right now. 
No, you do not. You always have gray um, hair. Um, so... Let's look at that pattern. pretty pattern. It's so soft. You see, she purposely chose yellow ribbon for Davina. Yep. Um, yellow and pink. Hmm. Let me My go first ahead. favorite and my third favorite. Because blue's in second. Let me go ahead. I love the care instructions that she puts on there for us. Yes, and here's mine. Mm -hmm. Mine's not going to focus right now. There we go. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. So. It's very pretty. It's a lovely cow. She went through great pains to oh, find yes, colors that we like. Because these are totally my colors. No, you couldn't tell. No, not at all. Thank you. I don't want to look like a pioneer woman. Pioneer women, all, all the clothes that make them look dumpy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so this kitty looks dumpy, huh? What? She, this kitty looks dumpy? She's not a Well, she, she dresses she's, in slimming dresses. She's a, um, yes. <laughs> lady <laughs> yes, of the is. night, basically. Okay. Here's okay. my. Brittany gave me a, a hitchhiker, and it's very, very nice. I've been wanting one of these for a while, trying to get up my courage to make one. Oh, I thought you did make one. No, no, she has not. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that knitted? color. This Isn't is that knitted. Beautiful? You see, this is a um, garter stitch. That's basically where you knit every single row. It's very, something Batman would wear. Very those stretchy. are the capy those, those are the those are the teeth. Yep. It does. You're right. Those it does look like Batman's. Half like Batman's. And actually. mine has a little purple ribbon that goes very well with it. It's kind of a mauvey purple. I get this on. Knotted. Let me show you the care. Go do the care. Sorry. There you go. So you can see my care instructions from Brittany. A lot of work went into that, and I really appreciate it. Yes, we, Brittany. We it really, really, really do appreciate amazing it. Amazing surprise. There may have been squeals. Like, yes. There, there may have been that. very loud squeals. We really appreciate them. This. Thank you very um, much. Davina has not had her breakfast, though, so we're going to send her on her way. So we can get the rest of the podcast started and welcome everybody properly. All right. Yeah. Thanks again, Brian. Right. And Mrs. Ewing. We're going to let Davina on our way. We'll be back. Hey, hey, we're back. We're back. Uh, Davina went to have breakfast. I got chili, so I buttoned up. I buttoned up as well. I was a little chilly as well. And we went ahead and got some tea. Mm -hmm. I really like completely random off. I love the shaping on this sweater. Okay. Just saying. Yes, just Excuse me, just saying. Well, I added the shaping. Do you mind, if I, I say, do you mind if I say what the episode is? You don't like the shaping on the sweater? No. <laughs> it's the only way to get her to be quiet for five seconds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go in the kitchen so you can cry a river in there and clean my floor. But then the ants will come. Not if you cry me a river and clean the floor. They don't like salt water. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I want to, once again, so in case you've forgotten because... Or you came in. Oh, late I'm actually not sure if we said it at the beginning. I did. Did we? Yeah. But did just you? to reiterate, today this is welcome to Pet Hook and Needles podcast, episode 153. It is Monday, May 4th, 2015, and we had taken a little break to get Davina situated, so we're back. Unfortunately, pigtails seem to have become my um, podcasting mm. hairdo. Right now, it just looks like a ding because you went bing, the bing, yeah, bing, poke. Okay, we want to welcome all new and returning viewers. Uh, thank you for joining us. We're glad you decided to spend a little time with us. We always uh, are happy to have you with us or be let into your homes. Um, we bang our fists on the doors and let us in, let us in. And we cry tears and they don't let us in. <laughs> but anyway. Um, There's an ant on your camera case. Where? There. Right there. Ah. None. Don't, don't, don't do it toward me. What are you doing? It's death. But it was at me. It died. It died a very bad death. But sugar ants all over the place. It doesn't yeah. matter how clean you are, the stupid sugar ants. Why ant. at me? Because you saw it first. But I'm not going to point things out to you anymore. <laughs> I'll I let you discover you. on your I own. I didn't touch you with it. Yeah. It's dead. Anyway, yeah, and it'll down on the ground me. with dirt in its head. I've told you as a kid, I, I always imagined if I killed an ant, that this big ant would come after me with a tissue and like squish me. The, I, and that's why I don't crush insects. I always ima had that in my imagination. Are we ready to start? What's your name? My name is Marlisha, also known as Lady Fornico. Almost everywhere, except my writing sites where I'm Shadow Light or Shadow Light One. I'm gonna feel like ants all over me now. Will you go? Who are you? You crazy person. <laughs> Oh, keep being ants. Uh, my name is Talia, also known as Franciscan Gypsy, um, all over the interwebs. Um, 
and that is particularly on Instagram and Ravelry. And I'm getting more. I keep flipping between hot and cold. I don't want to open mine yet. I'm going to wait a while. Um, we I have, can't decide. We want to welcome um, our, well, she got me all off track again. Why is it my fault? Because it is. It always is. Doesn't matter why what it is. Why can't it be your fault for once? I I choose that it's your fault. I don't care what you choose. I nominate it to be your fault. Your nominate nomination has been refused. Has the whole board been involved in? I am the only <laughs> board member that matters. <laughs> anyway, ah, <sighs> sorry, aunt. Anyway, hold on one second. We need to put this on pause. Hold on one second, kiddo. One second. Sorry, sorry about, about the that. She needs to get her medicine, so that's okay. All right, so we want to welcome new and returning viewers, particularly uh, those who have officially joined, although we And I think everybody. they're part of the board, too. So they would not deny my petition. They see what you're like. They deny every petition you ever make. No, I, I, I think that... Um, because I can't... How can they be part of the board when I have not introduced them yet? Tanya's on my side. No, Tanya's on my side. Um, Denise? Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> Nikki's on my side. Uh, I said her first. That means I get Heidi. Oh. <laughs> I get bakery bears. Chili! We always end up fighting about Chili. <laughs> okay. Emily! I got Emily. No. You can't have Emily. I got... Emily belongs to moi. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have now picked up pharmaceuticals. Ha. Huh. You can't have Mary. <laughs> you give me back Emily, you can have Mary. <laughs> <laughs> what, do I have her in a room somewhere <laughs> locked up? <laughs> I can hear her, let me out! <laughs> I'm sorry, Emily, apparently I locked you up somewhere. I don't know where the key is or anything. <laughs> Once I find it, I'll let you out. <laughs> I'll give her fiber. She can follow the fiber out. Okay. Um, give her five, or she might not find her way out again. <laughs> no, just little pieces. She'll have to, oh, okay. she'll she'll have follow to, the fiber she'll line. Spin her way out. <laughs> spin a key. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. It's her fault. Anyway, oh, okay. um, we are we welcome all the viewers who are uh, returning. We're glad to have you with us, and we want to welcome those who have newly joined officially in the group. Uh, we have Blue Yarn Always, who is Sheila. Well, I think you agree with that. Blue Yarn yes, Always. Yes, Always. And she um, has her own podcast group. I cannot remember it off the top of my head. I'm sorry. But she does have a, oh, a huh. She has a podcast with somebody else, I believe. And I have her podcast. I just can't think of what the name of it is. You're a horrible, horrible I know. podcaster. And then we have MV, me, MVA5493, yeah. who is Valerie. Welcome, Valerie. Hot Needle. Oh, I'm trying to remember the song Valerie from Monkey. Uh, Valerie. Uh, uh, Hot Needles times two is Sherry. Welcome, Sherry. Welcome, Sherry. Daisy. I think it's Daisy R.E. Um, who is Daisy? Daisy. Welcome, Daisy. Yeah. Made with Crochet. I don't have a name for her. Welcome, Made with Crochet. Mimi Loves You. Who is Shirley? That's nice. Who, and I, I don't know if that's, if she's, I have to look at her uh, ravatar. I don't know if she's a grandmother and that's what they're, what the grandma's call her, or if she has, you know, a, a mother, and that's, I don't that's know. A, that's cute, That's though. very cute. That's it's, a, I, I can almost hear a little kid. Me, 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 me. Yeah. So I don't know if she's a grandmother or not. I haven't seen her avatar, but it, I, that's what makes me think of. So welcome, Shirley. Mama C, who is Christina. Has Mama C been a member before? Her name is really she, familiar. She was in, she's active in Turbo Knitter. Okay. And, Maybe I've seen her on Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth. And that's how where she, where she heard from us, so, uh, heard of us. So that's cool. And I think she's also involved with Chili Trout. Okay. But, um, so we want to welcome all of you uh, who joined officially. And if you're still in the shadows, please feel free to come out. We did meet somebody at the Maryland Sheep and Wool who said they were going to join us. So we mm -hmm. hope that they join us soon because she's really sweet. Yes. Um, so what are what is in your mug? My mug. Today is Monday. It is a morning. I have not had my tea. So chai tea. My special chai tea. And I have um, dark rose hearts in my mug at this point and we will be talking more about this mug and i may have to take this off so i don't i know I, i'm now getting a little warm i'm afraid i'm going to spill on this and you saw that this was from Brittany, and i don't want to spill on it i'm wondering because so. i keep getting flipping between hot and cold i'm going to try with just the cowl on mm -hmm. but if i'm still like chilly in the arms 
and then warm when I put the sweater on, I might have to take the cowl off. I just don't want to get tea on it. I okay. keep flipping between hot and cold. I'm still chilly. My arms are cold. Um, okay. Before we go any further, um, well, sometimes, you know, a little something around the neck, which is why I like the Zuzu so much, and I might end up a cow knitter at some point. Oh, I, I, I love Because I, love I always get cold around the neck, mm -hmm. and I hate scars that are tight. Oh, I don't like those either. Um, but this little covering in the back of the neck is perfect. See, I Besides, it goes well with the cowboy hat look. Yes. And I, and I like these little shawlettes more than I thought I would, now mm -hmm. that I know how to wear them better. I wear them a lot of times like a cowl. Mm-hmm. And I can adjust them, which makes me happy. And I can see myself making more shallots, too. Yeah. So, I really want to make myself a, um, case. hitting me. A, case. A, a handbrake. Well, that, that that's Dan. That's what I call Dan. Case. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, the mess of, the mess, the one I keep thinking of a horrible word for. Um, me, um, it's the one. Not where, the so <laughs> No. The one with the pretty arches. Um, crap. I know the name. Ouch. Ouch. Elbow head. My head doesn't look like an elbow. <laughs> it does now. Mistletoe. Mistletoe. It's the one that she just did from the Romans. Yeah. The, and I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry, Kay. It is beautiful. Um, um, but I really want to make it. I got yarn specifically for it. Mm -hmm. At Maryland, but you'll talk about that yeah, later. Yeah, I'll talk about that later. Um, I might have to go out of screen to get our stash enhancements, but that's okay. Um, before we get too far... <laughs> this makes me think, have you ever... Um, I know one of you guys, I think it's Mary, you watch a lot of the, um, um, oh, what's they're called, um, the ones where, and you're yelling the name at me, where the guys make comments about oh, yeah, the, the movies, the, yeah. um, yeah. it's something 2000, um, uh, it's not really important at this particular But what time. made me think of they have Manos, the Hands of Fate, and at school we used to make fun of it because you just had a point where they're all doing this at the screen. And, Mary, I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, she mentioned it in her last podcast. Um, but because I have, it's almost my bedtime brain, I can't remember. Okay. Before we get too far along, um, speaking, no, not speaking of Mary, but um, we wanted to mention that Tanya Marie, it is Tanya Marie, isn't it? Who is having, I don't know what you're about to say. Who, yes, you do. Um, um, who is doing the, oh, his. He, uh, he designed it, she, she knit it. it. She did it. I don't uh, know what, I guess that guy knitters can't enter in then? I know. I, very, shame on you, Tanya. <laughs> I, I, I think that might be sexist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that she doesn't care. Maybe for for them it's she. But we can't put words in her mouth. No, we can't. I'm, I'm putting a bug in Tanya's ear. Tanya, mm -hmm. if you're listening, if it's he made it, he, he, knit it, he, he designed it, uh, she yeah. knit it, can the guys do a she designed it, he knit it, um, to balance it out. And I'm sure she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but but ask her. <laughs> All our, our guy people, ask her about that. But in any event, in that vein, um, the book that we were talking about last week, Shannon and... And, yes, check out last week. I know that we had issues with it loading to yes. YouTube. Um, it's now up and now works. I don't know what happened. It didn't process for some reason. And she had to redo it. And by the time it got redone, it, she was in bed. So I reloaded it to, um, the group. I didn't yeah. know how to reload it anywhere else. And I reloaded it to WordPress today. But that's why, like, I know Jenny usually watches on YouTube. And Sissy. And Sissy, um, are usually YouTube commenters. Yeah. Um. So I'm not sure if either of you have seen it yet. Or, or even, um, Elvin Nitz. I think she yes, watches I think there, she as well. there as well. So if you haven't seen it, you usually watch on YouTube. Um, check it out. There's a lot of information about this book and the and the giveaway we're doing for it. If this is by Shannon Mullet Bowlesby, and the photography is done by um, Jason. No, I'm sure. The Jason? No. Shannon's the designer. Jason is the uh, yeah. Is the photographer? It should say in the um, yeah, it should in the credits. Um, I just, I, I'm, shit, I'm, I'm afraid I didn't, yeah, Jason. Yeah, that's who I thought. And Jason. So, um, they are the, are the force behind this. He, uh, Jason does the photography, Shannon does the designs, and we went through it fairly in depth, but this would fit, um, that, uh, that he, he, he designed, designed it, it, she did yeah. it, or crocheted it in this case. Yeah. And so would things done by our very, very own George. George. So, and I mentioned in Tanya's thread, but figure I mentioned it here as well because mm -hmm. you know, 
Right. Our very own George. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Our very own George. And you know George is very prolific. So He's got some a lot stuff, of choice. And there's some wonderful stuff in here. Uh, check out the thread for the giveaway for this. Um, there's a question in there, and all you have to do, well, actually what it is is, you know, what your favorite pattern is in here, what you would like to, to make to win this. And um, so both George and uh, Shannon take a look at their patterns if you want to participate in uh, Tanya Marie Sampler Girl, her uh, her along Thing. that she's doing. Okay, what do so I want to work on? let's see here. Autism awareness. Autism awareness is going very strong. I can't believe that a month has already gone by. I know, and right? we have a ton of entries. Some of them are really amazing. It was, I think it was Sunshine who put in, um, Sunshine is uh, America. America uh, Liberty. America Liberty. She, um, she's doing a Timmy the Turtle in ta uh, Davina's black, uh, black, black light yarn. That I call it Davina's because that, that way you know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I was so happy that she won because Timmy was her first, or one. I think it was her first toy. Mm -hmm. She's a she was a very new crocheter when she decided to test Timmy, mm -hmm. um, which is why I think this is incredibly impressive that she agreed to test him after only being crochet, a crocheter for like less than a month. Right. Um, and she's gone ahead and started a second one, which makes me incredibly happy. I'm always happy when people work my patterns because sometimes I wonder if anyone likes them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm very. I, it makes me so thrilled to see someone working it. Yeah, and it, and look, it looks really great. Oh, and just on the on a side note, um, Turbo Knitter Kenneth, Davina was absolutely thrilled that she was able to inspire you. And um, oh, I'm a little bit behind on him. I'm what catching up. Not Raymond. What's this? Oh, I know. Uh, it is. Uh, um, I can't remember the two of you. Um, um I can't remember his it name. It begins right with now. R. It begins with R. I can't remember right now. Okay, I'll probably shout out in the middle of the podcast later on. Anyway, that you were inspired to make a blanket with her black light yarn. Yeah. For the autism awareness, so she's really excited about that because he posted Instagram for him when he was sick. Right, uh, and I can't think of his name. I don't know why I can't think of it. I, know I can't it remember is. either. Randall. Randall. Yes, Randall. Okay, Randall. So she was very excited that you two were um, inspired by that. She watched that part of your episode, and she was really happy about it. So yes. thank you for that. Um, moving on with the autism awareness, though, we have had some. What was that, that noise? That was my, my uh, Kindle. Why would your Kindle make that noise? I don't know. Why is your is phone it? charging? No. Did your Kindle make that noise? I don't know. It does. Can I turn off the sound? No. No. <laughs> no. We did not match on purpose. No, we didn't. It's just what we happened to wear. So I, I chose red first. I will have you know that. She got me. La di da di da. La di da di di. Okay. La di da di da. I am not playing Cher to your Sunny. Anyway. <laughs> Is that who that was? I don't Sunny know. Cher. Um. Okay, where was I? Oh, the Autism Awareness, some amazing projects in there. They're very bright colored socks and toys. And I'm behind in commenting, but I'm trying to at least hit like. <laughs> and I am keeping up to some extent. I am behind right now. Because i got to stop saying, oh, I can't look at this until I have time to keep up with comments. Because then I know I don't get to enjoy what you guys make. Yeah, I do. So in the end, I'm just like, if something strikes me, I'm commenting on it. Mm -hmm. But... Otherwise, I'm going to at least look at it because you guys put so much work into it. It's a shame not to look at it. And I look at them all. I look at them all. I don't always get to comment, especially if you've written stuff in there. Um, but I do comment uh, or I do look at them all and like, 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 and then I combat, comment as I can. I'm actually rereading through the old, um, on a slightly different note. I don't know why I keep hitting you. Um, I don't know. That hurts. So stop it. Stop it. Um, brain. I have to meet Tanya. Her last one, she was saying something about she sent something to someone, and then in the middle, she couldn't remember what she was going to say, so in the middle of it, she said brain. Yeah. So she's like, she sends them her brain. And Tanya is exactly, and we'll get back to this in Marilyn Sheeple, but Tanya is exactly as she seems on the screen. Yes, she is. She really is. But anyway. um, Which is a good thing. Yes, it is. 
Now, my, I think my brain's returned. Okay. Um, I think Tanya took it. <laughs> um, Tanya, she can't afford to have you take her brain. So, um, what I was saying is, I'm actually starting to read over, some of them are from like six months ago, mm -hmm. the um, introduction thread, and I'm just reading over some of them now because I kept that whole mindset of, oh, if I don't have time to respond, I better not look at this. No, I'm going to start looking at you if I don't have time to respond because otherwise these lovely messages you guys write. And we love reading them. Yeah, don't get addressed or at least don't get noticed. And that's not fair just because I don't have time to respond to it. So I'll just read them and then if I have time to respond later, come back and at least do it yeah. that way. Because and, and I do try to I do try to private message people welcomes mm -hmm. immediately because I know it's harder for me because you guys write such wonderful things that I want to respond to, but I want to do it in a way that it deserves. Yes. So I will send you a PM most likely first, and then you might hear from me on the board three or <laughs> three months later because it's just with all the boards I have to keep up with. I'm trying to keep up with everything. And, and that way, I, if I'm reading the intro stuff, then I can talk to you guys on the podcast at the very least. Yes. And we do talk to people, as you can tell, uh, on the podcast. No. So, no, not at all. Okay. So we are co-hosting uh, the pod, the podcast, the podcast. <laughs> yes, we are co-hosting the podcast. Very good. We are co-hosting Van Hook and Needles um, Autism Awareness Cal Cal with three other podcasters. Mm -hmm. uh, Emily, who is Chain of Fools, um, on the uh, boy, I can't think today. What is your podcast? That's what I'm trying to think. Chain of Fools Fiber on Town the Fiber Town podcast. I actually forgot for a second too. Yes, Fiber Town podcast, and we saw her there as well at, at um, Maryland. Nikki, who is uh, from Nicolo's World, Nikki 1829, and then uh, Heidi, who is Undead Yarn, uh, Nitty Girl, and she, Nitty Girl, has donated, um, well, first of all, she did the yarn, our Autism Awareness yarn for this year, which is lovely, which is wonderful, and I love it. I have two skeins, actually, I have three skeins now. Um, I lost track of how many skeins Yeah, of that particular colorway, though. Yeah, I know, I'm talking about that oh, particular okay. colorway. I can't remember how much I have. Okay, I have. I think I have two in fingering weight because I plan on making Davina. Yeah, picture. I have two in fingering weight, and I have uh, one at the DK that she gave me. She gave to me. I don't and know when I'm going to make all these things I plan on making. I don't either. Probably by the time I'm like a hundred. <laughs> um, so anyway, we. I hope I have the eye strength, eye strength, and the mind and the hands to continue doing it till right. death. Right. <laughs> So we have three co-hosts that we have mentioned. Uh, we have the product. The projects must be knitted or crocheted, and they must be about 75% brightly colored. We're not going to take a ruler and look at it. If it's you know, use your own judgment. It can be started at any time, but must be worked during the time of the cal, which is April 1st through June 30th. Uh, yeah, June 30th. It doesn't have to be finished. It just has to be worked on. Uh, they will be eligible for prizes. There is one whip per project per week. Mm -hmm. There is um, one FO whenever you finish it. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you worked on it during the week and then you finished it, you can still post both. Just as long as you finish it during the period. Right, of that time period. Um, and then um, the, we have two chances to win a, pro a prize for a project that, we is, do. that is either Heidi's Yarn if it's a finished object that's Heidi's yarn, you get two mm -hmm. chances for that. If it's George's Braided Bright or Rainbow Cow, that gets two cho uh, two chances for a finished cow. And if it's for a finished cow, for a finished project object, and um, two ch two chances also for um, Victoria Blue's mitts. Yes, if you finish them. And they're her puzzle pieces. Her mitts. puzzle pieces mitts. Only her puzzle pieces, and only Heidi's Autism Awareness yarn. And only Jar George's Jar 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 Jar's uh, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> no, George, you are not anything like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> no, he's annoying. You're not. Um, anyway, um, if George's two patterns for autism awareness, he's a, he's a like George better than Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> 2014 and 2015 patterns for autism awareness. Okay, and we have many many prizes. Um, six patterns by Anastasia Sattel. Mm -hmm. Two silver shed bags, one who, which was donated by uh, Ann Brody, who is the proprietor of, uh, of Silver Shed USA. It's a wonderful... It's an Etsy store. It's an Etsy store, yes. Um, Denise, who is the Knitting Den, who yes. donated two Kiki Boo bags in the puzzle pieces, but in different puzzle pieces. Um, 
fabric. Yes, you, this is one I've never seen. Me before. either. I was looking at that. Hmm, do I really want to give that <laughs> bad podcaster? And two zeta buffer pills as well. Indeed. Um, and we have two skeins of yarn from an anonymous viewer, which is very much appreciated. Anonymous. Do, 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 do. Debbie Jackson uh, donated a $10 or less downloadable Ravelry pattern of your choice. Mm -hmm. And we have a limited edition Autism Awareness yarn from Packing Knits that we, that we picked up for that purpose, mm -hmm. for uh, Autism Awareness. And a skein of Skino yarn and two skeins of yarn from Undead Yarn from her shop, one for each of two lucky winners. And there are three skeins of yarn from Emily Fibertown. There are two prizes. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot to choose. Oh, we have oh, something from Abby Designs that we can't show you because it hasn't arrived. It is in coming mail. in. She said it should be in no later than Wednesday. Yes. So it will be. And we will show it to you next week when it arrives. When we show all the other prizes, we were going to do that this week because we usually do it every month. But Autism, um, Maryland. Maryland Sheep and Wool kind of. And it works out because then uh, um, Jans can be shown. Yes, Jans can be this, Yes, exactly. Oh, thanks. All right. Um, the pro proceeds from Heidi's yarn, Undead Yarn, um, and from Packiness, if you buy yarn from her, from the Autism Awareness Colorway, a, a portion of or all of proceeds from them goes to Autism Speaks. And um, also, if you buy any of the Franciscan Gypsy Designs patterns during the period of... Uh, the toy pattern. The, no, it's all of them. All of them? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, during the period of the Autism Awareness Cal, the proceeds will be going 100% to Autism Speaks. Thank you um, once again to BJ, is it BJ BJ? I think that's what. Randy? Yeah, the one who's. Oh, yeah, I think it's BJ BJ, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's BJ BJ. It's her RAV name. Um, thank you for letting me know how good the arc is in your area. Um, that. So far, that's the best one I've I've seen that I like. Um, I know Mom likes the Autism Society. Well, I haven't seen Arc, but the uh, Autism Society is very um, good. I like the focus that um, the Arc does on specific family members, mm -hmm. um, or on your your particular relationship with the person who's on the autism spectrum. So thank you for your information, BJ. BJ, it's good to see. I wish I could remember your actual name. Is it Brandy? I think it's Brandy. Um, it's good to see someone who's actually seen the organization in action. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, so that brings us along to rough drafts. How many do you have? So I have un, dos, tres, I think I have eight. Okay, I have, if I count this one, I have six. Okay, so let me, excuse me, um, at least show a bag. Actually, I'll show a couple bags, and that'll cover me for a little bit. Um, in this one. In the Kitties in the New Silver Shed Bag, this is my first Silver Shed Bag, and it has my Autism Awareness Zeta Bopper Pill. Zeta Pop. Zeta Bopper Pill on here. Um, and this holds Davina's uh, Chili, the Springer Spaniel. Hers is called Milton. Um, and I'm very close to being done. Um, I think I'm going to be adding some videos after I'm finished with all the pieces to show the sewing instructions. So hopefully that'll help a little bit. Um, I try to make my patterns as easy to understand as possible, and I think the videos are fairly helpful. So um, hopefully they don't make things more confusing. So fly, kitties! Um, I'll just do... Two others that I can't show, and then I, we should be able to bounce to you, okay? Um, and this one is my toy design that is in progress of being designed, in the process of being designed. And it got some work. I, need, I didn't work on it today, but I will get some work on it. And it is in... The Kissing Bunnies Plover Bag. I think this is my very last Plover Bag I got. Right. And she is no longer in business. 
um, at this time. She may, if she gets transferred back, maybe we can talk her into starting again. But her bags are very awesome. And look at that fabric. Mm, cute little bunnies. So. And this bag is huge. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Plain. Bunny! Okay. I have one more. <clears throat> okay. Um, in my Cloverbird TARDIS bag is a design I started yesterday. I sketched yesterday and started yesterday. It's actually... A knit one. Not a toy. Not a toy. Um, we'll see if I keep up with it. Um, I need a little bit more prodding to keep up with my knit designs because they aren't quite as inspiring to me. And they take so much longer that I start losing patience. Um, I don't lose patience with my actual knitted projects. It's just with the designs because it's not building as quickly as what's in my head. And you then I start second-guessing myself. You need to do it bulky. That's not what I have with me. I know. Um, I do, though. But, I mean, I think this will be good. It's just that I need to have some patience with myself and let this build naturally. And I always second-guess myself when it comes to knitting designs. I just doesn't, I don't see flat as well. I see almost, what? You see dead people. <laughs> I see in... 3 or 4D when I'm designing. And garments just don't come quite as easily to me. Or non-toys. Okay, so the TARDIS is, TARDI are flying. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is no longer my turn. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I wasn't going to show this one today, but since I'm working on it right now, we have had multiple um, podcast episode things that we've been doing <laughs> today and so I'm a little disoriented. I am working right now on the, I have to find it because I wasn't going to do it today, on, well, it's kind of like Pebbles week when I worked on the baby oops and I wasn't, I hadn't worked on it all week. Yeah, that. this is the Pebbles the baby bird. I ha don't work on this right now because so, I'm trying to get my arm a rest, so, but I'm working on it right now. And I just, so done, you don't work it on right now, but you're working on it right now. I haven't worked on it recently. That's not what you said. I don't care. Read what I, just, that the, hear yeah. what I hear what I was supposed to say, not what I said. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm just work. I've only done like about a half a round on this, and that's all I've done on this. And it is in my. And it's funny, the blue shows up so much more in hers. It's and in my. It is my bag, absolutely humongous. Puzzle pieces bag. It's her large, and it is very big. And what be it the yarn that you work with? I am working with Heidi's yarn, Nitty Girls, uh, Undead yarn, the. Werewolf, werewolf base in the and autism the blue colorway. is popping up a lot more in her. That's why I wanted this one, um, of the two that she gave me. When she gave you, huh? Gave me. Yes. Gave us. Me. <laughs> I don't think she gave them all to you. <laughs> I was out of the generosity of my heart. I gave you one. <laughs> I think it might have been under my name. It probably was. <laughs> But anyway, she gave it to us, and um, we really appreciate it, and we're making a toys out of it. So, it's Because that's what we do when we get werewolf. Yes, we make toys out of werewolf. But um, it's working up very nicely. I, I had had concerns about how it would work up, but it works up very, very pretty. Um, very, very nice. Very, very pretty. It's a good a good yarn for um, for that DK weight yeah. you know, project. It doesn't split too much or anything, so I'm enjoying it. But not too much work on it. Um, the next one of which I will speak is my scrap log cabin blanket, um, which is based on the log cabin idea. Um, we don't do squares like a lot of the people do. We just keep going because we're too lazy to piece together. I don't like to piece together. <laughs> I'm not too lazy to piece together. I don't like to piece together. So I'm using whatever weight I feel like, basically, if it's fingering. Okay. And lace. I'm, you keep talking. I have to get my bag for that. My mouth is dry. I think I might be out of tea. Oh, no. I have a little bit left. And out of tea is a bad thing. At some point, I might need to pause to get more tea. Because I cannot... The tea cannot be gone. So, I am very excited. I have finished the... Um, this was 
one of her road kills. I finished the road uh Heidi's road kill um Heidi goes uh, road killing roads. And I am now starting this was um tree beard and it was used for my undead turtle's shell. And you can barely see it right now. What I like is it looks you can't tell right now, but the purple goes really well with those little pops of black and right. the green. It's kinda cool. But you can't really tell right now because I'm not very far along. What happened was Don't be hasty. I was on call on Wednesday night. I was called in about halfway through the shift because uh things exploded in the ICU. Not literally like bomb went off or anything, but you know. It was pretty crazy. They need three nurses. But um while uh, while I was on call, I finished up uh, this um log and started the other one. Well, like a complete dodo brain. I went ahead and picked up stitches on this other side. And I was like, that doesn't look right. And I looked, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to do it on this side. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and tore that out and had to pick up stitches again. But I, as it turns out, I like it better against the purple anyway. So I would have been a lot farther along if I hadn't picked up stitches on the wrong side. Uh -huh. But, yes, it got a little bit of love. I'm just happy to finally have changed colors again. I'm still nowhere near finished. I will probably be 1,200 years old before it's finished. Um, keep talking. Mm, that, that was all I was going to say. You have to keep talking. Why? Because I'm not finished yet. I don't care if you're not finished yet. Don't make, I have to count this. So if, if it's increased or decreased. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Because you um, increase into the um, first stitch of increase. That's automatically what it is, unless yeah, I know. if you I keep just, running I, past. I just wanted to know what my stitches were, that's all. Oh, uh, okay. I, yeah, I know I Because it's pretty much, you can pretty much read the crochet oh, to where absolutely. you're supposed to increase. So I just wanted to make sure I had the right number of stitches. Yeah, because that's what I do. All right, so I have to do. Right, oh, because you have completely messed up on that bird before where you weren't paying attention. Well, I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. No biggie. It's easy enough to fix. Okay. My next one is my... Look at that red. In my Vera Bradley bag. And I'm not going to pick it up because I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Mine was in a Pop Blue. The okay. Batgirl bag. Mine is getting very big. This is my... Barbara Gordon bag. Are you going to let me talk? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> okay. Here is uh, my... Little... little. You diesel diesel, diesel diesel dum, clean my sunshine. I mean, I hate it when I sing that song. Um, well, she's not here to complain. Okay, so this is my what's in a square blanket. It is the you, uh, ubiquitous, 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 ubiquitous pattern. What is ubiquitous? It means <laughs> everywhere. Ubiquitous. You see it everywhere. The ubiquitous blanket. The log cabin. And I am not doing it in squares because I hate squares. I forget um, who I'm friends with on Facebook who basically finished it and all she has to do is piece together her squares. Uh, uh, super person. Okay. I started... Well, well, at least she was doing big squares. At least if you're going to do squares, it's a little nicer because you don't have to piece together as many. But right. Still, uh, okay. Here we go. This is... I don't know if oh, I was... Oh, I like on, that color. Yeah, this is a little pretty green. I don't know if I was on this color already, but in any event, I don't think I was very far. So you can see this is the wrong side, but I think that's the wrong side. Have you been weaving in your ends? I have, but I stopped. I weave in oh, my right ends. I go along. It's the right side. Um, it's getting quite large. I can't even. Well, yours is very close to being done. It is. It's and then she'll be able to start her next one. Yeah. I have a bunch of Aracana when I finally finish mine, but yeah. that'll be like an eon from now. I forget what the yarn is I picked up for it, but... I got most of it from down the bottom of the hill, but that will be started shortly after finishing this one. And I like this one. It's fun. It's, I don't think your yarn was discontinued like mine was, though. It was hard to find, but it was not discontinued, I don't think. But I have other yarn that has been discontinued from down at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. And that's always kind of fun to try to find, you know, <laughs> more yarn when you need it. The friendship yarn, the friendship shawl yarn that I put on hi hiatus for the moment. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh. Oh, crap. This is what I'm talking about. Did it break? It looks like it came loose. 
did break. Oh, and that yarn, can you see the hole here? See it right here? You can see the hole right there. I'm going to have to fix that. I don't know what happened. You know what this yarn is? It's the yarn I picked up at Bidlocks. Oh. Big Lots. I'm going to have to... Is that the yarn that broke? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Because it would yeah, have actually absolute. been attached there. But that's going to take some fixing. Just grab a yarn that looks... Yeah, it is a big one that broke. See, there's yeah, your... Yeah, there it is. Um, okay. You're just going to have to sew it. Yeah, I think so. Um, and just choose something. I need to mark it somehow. Do you have any stitch marks? I don't have any I have one. I'm not using. Well, it's a good thing I decided to pull this out after all. I didn't think I had used that yarn, but I guess I have. Let me see here. Never again, Okay, right? note to self. Need to get rid of that yarn or use it for something that doesn't get utilized. Sorry, guys. Let me just mark this. Yeah, you'll have to sew that um, yeah. so it doesn't end up... I don't know how I'm going to sew it without making it look really weird. I guess I'll use this color. Yeah, use yellow. Oh, I'm going to use this one. Or that one, yeah. And move it along. Okay. All right, let me just put this away. Although if you use yellow, it's right along the bottom for both of them. That's true. Do you uh, have more of the yellow? I think so. I think it's just Hobby Lobby. All right, let me put this away because that's just frustrating. Make sure you have that on the outside, Mom, so you remember. Well, I don't want to catch it on something else. True. It's on It's on the... T okay. Oh, that's just frustrating. Sorry, guys. I will try to fix it. And hope that I can do so. So, I guess it's my turn it again. It is your turn on that um, note. So, I only got a little bit of work on it. Here it is. In my... How many projects do you have left? No throwing for that bad. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, four as well. Um, in my silver shed... Uh, Froggy's bag is um, my nighttime reading shawl. This is the Gascale pattern by Sarah Jordan. I'm using brown uh, sheep's, sheep lamb's pride worsted in the colorway charcoal heather. I'm using US 6 needles. And I'm sure the undead yarn cowl is finished. Oh, hey, I'm in the middle of a row. Um, yeah, it's the middle of the row. But... I am um, past the point where I think it might be better if I just take out these few stitches. Hold on. I am past the point where I um, have to increase um, on the neck. I'm just doing the normal increases on the bottom. And then I'll be headed into straight before I decrease. So, I guess about halfway. Um, I know after I start doing the decreases, it'll seem like it's moving a lot faster because the right. rows will get shorter. But this has not been getting a whole lot of love. I, I worked on it a bit on Sunday um, just because I was like, hey, I haven't worked on this in a while. I really need to get some things off the needles. Um, so, of course, what did I do? I started something yesterday because I need to get some things off the needles. My logic... Well, you never said you couldn't put anything else on. You just said you had to get something off. <laughs> My logic's not always very sound. No, it's not. Well, I was struck with inspiration when I was in church to design Because that's what you're supposed to be thinking of in church. Well, it struck me like a hammer. Mm -hmm. Thor's hammer. In church? It was like, ah! Sorry. Drop stitch. It was like, bang, bang, Maxwell wow. silver hammer came down upon my head. Do, 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 do. All right. And that's a very happy note for a very creepy song. song yeah. <laughs> um, well, like that was saying about Tom Dooley. Yeah. Hang down your head. But Tom, Tom Dooley is that Dooley. not so, not so, well. Uh, no, it's a little happy. more, it's not quite a, it's a, da -da 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 -da, that well, kind of. Beatles are like. Traips, I see them all traipsing through the daisies or, or, or strawberry fields or something. When they're well, then, yeah, because it, it's almost like they're going, it's like a dancing yeah. happy <laughs> song. <laughs> Someone else is dead. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this kid's a mass murderer and they're just do 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 doing. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sure the Beatles fans got that. This right here is where the neck you can really actually see where the um neck increases are here. Right there. Cool. Um so it it provides a bit of a covering to the neck, which is what I really wanted. And yeah, it got some work and this is actually the wrong size, so this is how they'll be facing everyone else when I'm wearing it. I am happy with this so far. I would like to actually have it, but that means I have to actually work on it. <laughs> Amazing how that works, right? It just doesn't pop off the measles and show up fully done. The little elves, the little knitting and crocheting elves. Yeah, I know. They're <coughs> supposed to, like, let me enjoy Well, what happens is I have this thing called a real life, and I have to work for my money and things like that. It's, it's rather she obnoxious. She works for the money. <laughs> She was so hard the money. Oh, Donna Summers. Oh, gosh. I was wondering who, who sang that. I, I knew the song. I think it's Donna Summers. I thought it was a guy. No. It wasn't? Okay. No. Not the original. So. At least what I think was the original. Maybe it was something before the 70s, too. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All um, right. Here Dan we go. will probably know. <laughs> okay. Froggy Slew. Um, I'm working on my spring thaw shawl project from the scrap shawl pattern by Anastasia Sattel. This is what I worked on on the trip up. To Maryland Sheep and Wool and, wool and on the way back. I'm going to need a cup of tea pretty soon. Um, Maybe after this project. Let's see here. I'll show you where I'm at. Because I'm getting kind of sleepy. So it is growing. As you can it see. It is. It is growing. And who was the one who did one? It was Brittany uh, or Allison? No, it wasn't Brittany or Allison. It was um, uh, Bubbles. It was, no, it wasn't Bubbles. Um, it was. There are Bubbles on our screen. What's her name? I could see her in my head. I think it was Tigger Girl. It was Tigger Girl. Vanessa. It was Vanessa. Um, but this is getting really big. Hers came out very nice. Hers was in Heidi's yarn. This is in um, Reflections at Rockland. It's going to be a nice it, length, Mom. Oh, yeah. I still got I still got about half a skinny yarn left. So it's going to be very big. And that's not even blocked. So this Are you fun. going to go to the end of the skein or just till you decide it's long enough? I have to see. I'm planning on using the end, the whole skein, but that could be quite large. I don't care. I like large shawls. Mm -hmm. But I took this t with me to Maryland Sheep and Wool and showed it to the lady at, Mer at um, uh, Reflections at Rockland because I've talked to her a couple of times. And she said, not many people show her the stuff that they make. And, of course, even fewer still show her crocheted ones. So mm -hmm. she was really happy to see that her yarn worked up. And I'm enjoying it. I like this. Um, this is almost a little muted for my colors, but I really like the way it's. Nude is not the right word. Springy. It's it's a different. It's not jewel tones. I mean, because yeah. that's not muted. Yeah, it, the greens are very bright, and some of the blues are as well, but not bright enough maybe to be in the autism awareness or anything like that. Maybe doesn't matter. I can't use it anyway. But it's just a little. It's a little out of my um, shade or or intensity. Maybe something. Maybe it's the intensity. I don't know, but it's. I fell in love with the yarn when I saw it two years ago, and I still love it. Was it two years ago? Yes, it was 2013. Mm -hmm. I, have it on my, mm -hmm. I have it on my project page that I got this, um, or on my stash page or something, which I don't keep up with. I'm terrible at keeping up my stash. Oh, yeah. but, um, I got this two years ago, Maryland Sheep and World, the first year I went, and I started working on it when I did this shawl because it was just sitting there, and I didn't want it to just sit there. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. Oh, and it's in my... Silver Shed, Extra Large, at at back. I got more comments on my bag at Maryland. Eight. At Maryland, my at at back. So um, it didn't get dirty or anything. I was really proud of myself. Well, it wasn't like you're going to fling it in the mud when you're over there. Well, it's very muddy out. You put your bag down and get stuff on it. But anyway. I don't think you put your bag down. I, I did. Oh, did you? I did, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm, I do need to pause. I need something to drink. I'm kind of tired. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Um, we are back. I need another cup of tea desperately. The podcasts are becoming a two-cup deal for me. Because we're doing it very early in the morning, which means I'm tired, so I have two cups in one. Mm -hmm. And she is getting ready to go to bed. And because of other things we had to do this morning, it, it got a little, little bit later. later. We, we planned to start about 45 minutes earlier. And it wasn't breakfast or anything. It was just other things that you might see on a elsewhere. different podcast. <laughs> um, elsewhere. 
so um oh had you just finished showing I did the spring shawl okay the spring thaw oh, shawl. oh I forgot to say what bag it was in though it is in no you said it was at at oh you're right I did say okay. uh, my you're about how many my at at bag so okay oh very little work I've done on this one <clears throat> this is um the GI turtle I don't know why I still have intestine next to it, because he's totally no longer intestine. Right. Um, I think at the time he was intestine. This is my Timmy the Timid Pillow Turtle. And I actually think I might have even taken Pillow out of the pattern. I think you did. Um, initially, way back when, I called it the Pillow Turtle, but it's just the Timid Turtle now. I, I could show my turtle. I haven't worked on it, but I haven't been able to show it, because I always kept thinking it was testing. Oh. <laughs> um... I've been wanting to work on this. I just haven't um, very much. So there's his face. This is my camo turtle. The camo part is not done um, yet. I just need to finish the head so I can work on the camo part of the shell because that's what I'm really looking forward to. I've been really wanting to work on this, but I haven't been able to. Um, and, yeah, I don't know what crazy thing overcame me. Once I finished Timmy... I started the undead turtle, and then I was like, man, I'm so glad to be done with the shell. The undead turtle, this is great. I'm done. And then all of a sudden I was like, I want to make another turtle. I'm just like, where's my brain? Why am I making three of these humongous toys at one Well, we're doing one DK, though. One is DK. Yeah, so is the uh, uh, undead turtle. Right, so I'm saying that one is humongous and two are DK. Yeah. I... We, but these things are still humongous. Yes, they are. And the funny thing is, we we were talking about it, we don't want to do it. We went to Hobby Lobby after we finished, and I'm like, ooh, that's a good yarn for the shell. I'm going to get this yarn. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna and do everything we saw on Hobby Lobby was like, turtle. Yeah. And just like, what the did I actually blame Nikki. Mm. Because she had done the camel turtle. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Nikki. Nikki, 18229. Turtle. It's her fault. Um, but she can take the hit. Yes. And for some reason, the turtle, I don't quite get it. That's a pattern that everyone seems to like. Yeah, everybody. I mean, we met people at the festival, and that, that's the one. And Lace, everyone without fail would be like, turtle! Lacey One did that. Mm -hmm. Lacey, Lacey One is someone, we don't mention her name on the podcast. We don't know if she want to, but she's been a friend of mine for almost 20 years um, mm -hmm. when we were stationed at bowling together. I so, grew up with her kids. So I, I don't want to say her name on the podcast, but her rap name is Well, Lacey especially one. since I can't. I She's giving me permission to call her by her first name, but I've known her since I was little. I'm not going to call her by her first name. No. That would just be, no. No, I can't do it. It's, no. it's weird. Yeah. It'd be like calling my mom by her first name. Well, you just said, don't do that. You said that her daughter said the same thing about Yeah, it, yeah. I, I just don't do that. It's weird. <laughs> um, it's disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's that's another reason. It's easier to call her Lacey one on here, so I'm not giving out her last name. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, everyone, when I show people my patterns at work, they all gravitate toward the turtle. I have no idea why. That was the one when I finished designing. I was like, huh, no one's going to like this one. <laughs> I love that one. And that's the one everyone likes. Go figure. I have no idea what, what people like. Apparently. The show goes on and on and on, but it's worth it. But, yes. That very long tangent for this little yes part of the turtle head. I don't even have the eyes yet done. Um, and the yarn I'm using is Baby Bee Sweet Delight. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what the name of the green one is. I'm not going to go searching through here, but the brown is, uh, uh, chocolate. Ooh, and edible the, turtle. Um, main part of the shell will be, uh, is Baby Camo. Mm -hmm. So, yes, maybe this will get some work today. I'm going to concentrate on your tilling, I think. I really need to concentrate on finishing something, and I should probably concentrate on finishing to me as Milton, because I want to finish it by her birthday. Right. Um, well, I'd like to get a couple things finished before the yarn. Um, we're getting a little yarn, uh, yarn support from Shannon for the yes. projects we're going to be doing, and I want to get some things off the hooks and needles before that comes, if yes. I can. So I'd like to finish Tilly, or Divot, as I call Tilly, and um, some other things. And this is in my special order uh, Batman bag by Ploverbird. She did not have a Batman bag, and I made a little whiny noise about wanting Batman bag, and she gave me several uh, fabric choices, and this is the one I fell in love with. I love that. I've and actually, that as you can see, Mom, something I didn't notice, this stained glass. Mm -hmm. Look here. 
it's actually a bat. Oh, that's cool. You see, here's the round part. Here's yeah. the ears. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. You see, and there's the bat signal. Yep. So, it's really kind of cool. The stained glass is actually a bat signal. That's cool. So, this is just a really awesome bag and awesome fabric. And I think there might be maybe one or two others like this because she had extra fabric to make right. some, more the, some more bags. But I have the original. So, this was her sweater size at the time. That was before the uh, kissing bunnies. Flying! Okay, now... I, I just hear Davina footsteps. We hear footsteps, yeah. But I think she's head upstairs. Okay. I think she was just checking to see if we were done. Yeah. Okay, the next one I have to show you is my stylish shawl project from the uh, Shell Shawlette pattern by Susan Hill. I think it's Hilger. And I am using Undead Yarn, Heidi's Yarn, in the Vampiric um, base in the Autism Awareness colorway. And I made a little bit of progress on this. It's growing. I like this. You said this is a shawl? This is a shawl. It's kind of a shawlette. I probably could keep going with it and make it as big as I wanted to, but I'm not sure how it would fall. Right. So, um, there. You can see how it's already starting to curve, so you can see how it's going to fall. Oh, around. okay. You know, like, like that, and you can you know, do however you're going to do it on your shoulders or whatever. It's easier to show when it's a little bit bigger, but I have made one of these before. Oh, okay, you did? Yes, I did. I don't recall. Yes, I told you that last week. Yeah, I, I still don't recall. <laughs> what color did you use before? Um, I don't remember. I have to look it up on my progress, project. For some reason, I want to call a project page a progress page. But anyway. <laughs> I thought you were trying to say progress page. So, and that might have been two. And this, this is, I love the way this is working out. I'm using one skein of undead yarn. And I think it should take up the whole skein. I'm not sure. And I have an, oh, my hook went. It is a, an F hook. Yeah, this is how much yarn I have left. Isn't that pretty? It is. I like that. It's very pretty. And thank you, Heidi, for letting me know when you had an update so I could get another skein. This is in my Fantific bag. And I, I think, she, like I said, I think she only has one size. And I didn't think I was going to like the tie, but I do like it for this. And it, it stands and I can carry it. And I love the words of, you know, the positive words, miracle and, you know, for every thing there's a season and all that. It's, it's a nice bag. It's very uplifting. Um, my next one, well, first of all, what I'm using to mark off my progress is... I think it was two, mm. two years ago. No, this is one I, my old one. Oh, the one I brought you? No, this is the one I got from Shenandoah. They weren't when Shenandoah. Two, two years ago. Oh, when, when Leslie. She had them too? Oh, okay. I just, I have had this pen for two years. So you have three of them. I guess no, I only have two. two. I brought you one last year. I did. You might have lost it, but I brought you one. I thought I got this from Leslie. And Leslie didn't have them last year. Oh, well, maybe this is the one that Mom brought me. Either way, it's, then it's about two, a year old. I don't know if Leslie watches us from the Knit Girls, but if you do, you can tell us where we're wrong if you had it or not. She, she's not going to remember for two years ago. I wouldn't be able to. She didn't remember if she had them. She might not remember giving it to us, but she might remember. So this is my Knit Girls pen. Um, I do use it to mark off mm -hmm. my my original Knit Girls pen ran out of ink. But that's okay. Um, we'll talk about that later. This project is the Bubble Yum, the Baby Bunny, which is the Oops the Bunny pattern that I wrote. Um, oh, I forgot to say that the baby bird was your pattern. Yeah, I know. That's the very bird. disappointing. The bluebird pattern. This time the bunny's not going to run away from me. Bastion. So this is baby bunny head. Mm -hmm. I know people said that it looks like a mutant ninja turtle at this stage. A multicolored. It's a mutant ninja turtle with chicken pot. <laughs> and I've got an upper body. Cool. And... I am currently, I could have sworn I like a muzzle too, but I guess I haven't. 
Yeah, yes, I have it. Um, and this is the lower body that I'm currently on. So, I am enjoying this. Where did my cloth go? I do not know. Oh. Probably put it in the kitchen. I probably did, and I'm not going up to get it again. Nope. I'll be fine with this right now. Um, but, yeah. That's, um, that's it with this. I've been doing a little bit of work on it here and there. It hasn't been getting most of my love, mostly because I've been trying to focus on getting Davina's dog done. Right. And you might see me go a little bit more monogamous for the next couple of weeks because I want to finish some things instead of just a row here of this and two rows of that. Unless my hand dictates that I change projects. Right. Which sometimes it does. Right. Um, do you have more to say about that? You know, that's it about this. And you stuff. told them what the yarn was, right? Oh, I'm not sure if I did. This is Undead Yarns um, Autism Awareness Colorway. This and one... the werewolf face? Yeah, yes, it's a werewolf face. This one is a little bit more yellow and pink, pink than the blue. Yeah. When when it came in, I actually talked to Ty. I said, do you mind if I have the one with more blue in it? And she said, fine. I actually threw fits, and we had an arm wrestle about mm -hmm. it. I won. <laughs> As you can see by the fact that I had the blue one. <laughs> okay. My next project. I said the stylish shawl already. Um, oh, my puppy. I can't show you my puppy. Is your puppy? No, I can't show my puppy. It's in my 2X, I guess you call it the Target bag, please call box bag, from the Silver yeah, Shed USA, who is um, Ann Brody from her shop. And this is an awesome bag. I cannot show you my project, but I can show you the inside of the fabric there. You mean throw your pen down? I did throw my pen down. And I love this project. This is Tyus Tilly. It's my divot. And I'm enjoying it now that I can work it again. So that's all I can say about that one. No? Okay. My last one. Do you have one more? Chance? I have one more plus a finished object. Okay. So my last one. I keep getting cold chills. Oh. Um, yeah. I worked on this one mostly during Marilyn Sheep and Wolf. Um, I worked what on bag? this. This is in my... Um, Batman um, bag by Silver, Silver Shed. Shed. Yeah. Um, and what size is it? This is her extra large. No, it's her two extra large. Or two extra large, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, and I um, worked on this the two hours that we went up, and I tried to work on it the two hours we went back, but then I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. But I worked on it all throughout the festival. Um, walking and knitting, when we're standing in line, and, yeah. Uh, this is my constant companion. Oh, that's still my best. I can't leave. Um, so, I think I was just barely in the underarm last time we spoke. Now, uh, huh, I'm in the middle of the round. Well, you know what? What? We're hitting our three-year anniversary next week. Yes. Not next week. May 15th? May 15th two weeks. is two weeks. Two weeks. That's right. Today's only because the fourth. you're uh, don't shorten the time I have to finish till late. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Davina's already uh, antsy about that as it is. Yes. Did I do a short row here? Oh, I have no idea, Mom. So, since you last saw, although I am in the middle of a row, um, this is how far along the stitch marker marks the last place I did a decrease, so that way I can then start measuring two inches from that point. The decreases are every two inches. Um, so, quite a bit of progress was made on this. And this is Miss Babs Obsidian. This project I've been calling Obsidian, Obsidian this is the calligraphy uh, cardigan by um, Fetic. Hannah Fetic. I couldn't remember her first and name. And when for a she second. said Obsidian, she means that's the colorway. It's Yowza. It's a Yowza one yeah. game. I thought I said that. I might have, but I didn't hear it. I, said, I didn't hear it. You must not have said it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thoroughly enjoying this. Um, it's actually quite a simple knit. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. So I, I look forward to having this. Now it's really, there's um, very few increases or decreases. It's pretty mindless at this point. I mean... I didn't have to focus at all. I didn't even have to look at the pattern the entire Saturday. 
So it's nice to have a project like that. When I might have looked at it once or twice <clears throat> um, right before we got to the festival mm -hmm. because it was really actually great timing. We were within 15 minutes of getting to the festival when I hit my decrease from which I had to measure two inches. Mm -hmm. So I did my decrease and I was like, awesome. Next two inches, I don't have to even think about the pattern. So. It's really, it's really good when you have something. Like I worked on, I told you that I worked on this the whole trip. I don't have to look at a pattern. I barely have to look at the, uh, at the work while I'm doing it, so I didn't get car sick. <laughs> it was really nice. Right, I, and I don't, I don't have to look at my knitting while I'm knitting on it. For the I most just, part, I can knit without looking. I never used to get car sick when I did stuff in the car. I don't know if it's a getting older thing or what, but it's annoying. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. The last project I have to show you is in my owl's bag that ta uh, the Vina gave me. And you can find it, what I called the project. This is my handbrake. The hopeful cow, my handbrake. And Ty, I found, <laughs> I found a place where I purled too many times in a row, so Ty's going to help me fix that. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would try to fix it myself, but because I have so many projects, it's just faster for her to help me this time. But it's coming along. Please let me know when you get to that point because right. I can't fix it till you're right, right over it. I'm going to show it actually to see the pattern, not where I made the mistake. Um, I'll show them that too, though. Keep talking. I, I want to get my mitts because I can feel it now okay. when I don't crochet with it. Okay. Especially with it's smaller. I don't know if you can see this. The pa yeah, you can see the patterns coming up better than I can see it. So you can see the pattern starting to show up there. And I made a mistake where I must not have been paying attention. Let me see if I can find it. It's quite easy to see. I was telling them, I, I tell you, that I can see the pattern a lot better when I show them than I can when I'm looking at it. You know who it. is saying that for one of her patterns? is Karen of, um, of uh, Round the Twist. Yeah. It was for her redemption sweater. Oh, really? Yeah, she said the color work showed up a lot better on the camera than it did in person. Well, the pattern showed up a lot better on this when I showed the... I wanna, well, I wanna, she had, like, color work, so right. it's, like, pattern. Let me see if I can find it now. It's really showing up, because I was worried that I was doing something wrong all across the board, but I'm not. And Kay and Dan, you did something that so far only Tanya Marie's been able to do, and that's to get me excited about knitting. <laughs> um, here is where I made the mistake. So you can see right where the stitch marker is? Right there. There's, there's like six purl bumps in a roll. And I, the, the four middle ones should be knits. So Ty will help me fix that. But I am really having fun with it. And Kay, I did not cast on the smaller version. I cast on your longer one. So yay for being a little adventurous. <laughs> little adventurous. I didn't twist the stitches or anything. Yay. I was so proud of myself. And I did it without Ty's help. Well, if I ever made an effort to me, I'd make the smaller one because she's shown a tendency like to wear the cows as a head band, as right. a head kerchief. And I want to see how thick this is on because mm -hmm. I might make a smaller one for myself later. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't normally like things that are really high up on my neck. I mm -hmm. like them to be able to hang. So I, mean, I might look on project pages and see how other people wear them because if I can make two out of one skein of yarn, I can give one away as a gift. Right. So... But I'm really enjoying this pattern. And again, this is Kay and Dan's handbrake cow, uh, cow pattern. It can also be done as a scarf and two different size cowls. It's only a pound to buy, and it, all the benefits uh, go to Cancer Research. And I think they made like 800 pounds so far. Something like that. So if you, you know, I know I've been plugging this, and you don't have to do anything. You don't want to, obviously. But <clears throat> if you haven't already bought it or gifted it for someone, maybe consider doing that so they can give a nice hefty check to the cancer research um, so we can get rid of cancer because it's nasty. Um, and that's my plug for them. But, uh, yeah. I'm into, I, oh, I want to mention my stitch markers. Early Last week I told you I got stitch markers. What is it called? Orange. You should, oh, that's right, because these hadn't arrived yet? Yeah, they hadn't arrived yet. Orange. Oh, I can't remember. Mom. They had arrived. We showed them in the. Right. I think it's orange jelly bean or je jellyfish. Jellyfish. Orange jellyfish. I, I've got, I'm mixing two sets here. This marking my center, my center where I, you know, the beginning of the round, that's the big autism puzzle piece. And then I put the other puzzle piece ones away because I didn't have enough for this project. So I'm using the wood, the wood bead ones of the different colors here. 
as my markers for my autism awareness. And I like them a lot. They're not heavy and they, they stay put. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with those. I'm using my autism ones in uh, the knit uh, project I'm designing and in my Zuzu's petals, which I did not work on this week. Yeah. Okay. So um, what's next? Do you have? Next? No, that's it for me. Okay. I have an FO. Okay, go ahead. My FO was not even a blip on the radar, and I blame Family Diva. Family yeah. Family Diva, right? Sue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's Sue, Sue's Family Diva, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sue had some baby hats that she had put. I remember seeing hats. them in Chili Trout's group. Yeah, and I kept looking at them and looking at them. I thought, gee, man, that would be a good project that I could just kind of do. And only really, what I did was I used it as a jumping off place. She, had, she put out what she kind of did, her recipe, so to speak, or her pattern, because it was her own from her head. And I kind of did a little different to it. And I'm so glad I kept this. This is my Plover Bird bag. Um, oh, your, uh, je, my Je Tem Plover yeah. Bird bag. This I know is, you were debating whether or not to. Yeah, I'm destashing bags, and we'll talk about that either later now, uh, later on in this podcast or next podcast. But um, I kept this one because I love Plover Bird so much. And I made the hat. I, I This is actually bigger because I did extra um, increases. So it's actually more of a toddler, not quite a toddler, maybe a six-month-old or something, mm -hmm. or an eight-month-old. Yeah, that's just where I tie it off. It's cotton. Mom, it's coming undone. No, it's not. It's not. It. No, it's coming undone. See? That's two openings. Um, well, don't pull on it. This is in cotton. And I will have to see if I can sew this shut. I don't know what the issue is with that. I found it hard to um, fasten off with this. this is, I love this cotton, and I love this yarn. It's very soft, but it also tends to be a little slippery sometimes when I'm there. But you see how that's actually stitched? Yeah. Okay. So, anyway. So, I did a... Uh, I did double crochets, and then I did front post crochets, and then I did um, front, crochet, front post crochets in a row. So I have here I have, this is front post, and then regular double, and then front post, and then these are all front posts on the bottom, and these are just double from the top. And because I, I wanted to make sure it had some stretch to it because it's cotton, and I didn't know how, how much stretch it would have. So I think this would probably be maybe, I haven't had a baby in the house for a long time, so I'm thinking about six months to maybe... A year. And we don't Possibly. have a baby to put it on. Yeah, we don't have. And it might be slightly slouchy and be smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like that. So I'll fix this because it's going to go to charity. It was fun to make. It took me about two hours, and that was with interruption. So I think. Um, you're watching Mother Angelica while you're doing it, right? Yeah, I was. I like the design on it. Oh, thank you. So that's what I. I heard you cackling. <laughs> yeah, you were cackling too. But thank you, Sue, for the idea. I'm going to play around with hats a little bit, I think, because they're fun. And um, maybe I'll do some designs with that. Because this is out of, this is out of my head. I just, I just, and I've done that before with hats where you just kind of go round and round. But this has a little more shape than most of my other hats. So I was happy with this. Okay, Tay. Um, let's do autobiography and design news, and then we can go to Maryland. Um, I think so. Why do I feel like there's something we're missing? I don't know. Okay. Um, so for autobiography, um, I worked on the shared story a bit and um, read some of the uh, first King of Shinar. I'm finding it a little harder to make my way through. I'm finding the characters a little harder to connect to than in his previous books. That's because we're not reading it in the order he wrote them. We're reading it How in his suggested order. In his suggested order. This is the order that he wrote them. Okay. That's okay. Well, that doesn't make sense. Then why would the characters get... I don't know. These characters, I'm not sure if he was not as connected to these characters. Right. I mean, there are characters that I like. But I, I, they don't feel... I like the story. Yeah. I, the depth is, the depth of these characters aren't... They aren't as deep as the characters he's had before. Well, we've um, only had one book to get to, to know them, too. We had, you know... Well, we only knew um, uh, Will for one book. And we only knew Will's kids for one book. And... No. Brandon... Yeah, Brendan, uh, Jer, I don't count Indomitable. Indomitable felt right, weird. Right, right. Um, but Brendan and Jer only had one book. That's true. Um, and Slancher was a very strong yes, character. Was. Well, I like Kinson in this book. Um, and I like uh, Tay. 
I just, I'm having more difficulty getting into this book, mm-hmm. and I remember that from last time I read it. Right. Um, so I'm just trying to muscle through so I can get to the next one. Well, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing an Al-Anon who is not Al-Anon. Al-Anon, yeah. <laughs> who is a, not an adult kind of uh, broody Al-Anon. Mm-hmm. that would be interesting to see him. But I've already had something happen in the book that's typical Brooks that I don't like. I'm irritated. Yeah, so not, be, not because I don't like the story. But no, because I then don't... I still do something, and then I'll get mad at him because yeah. of what he did to the character, and I won't read him for, you know. Yeah. I've, I'll take my time reading the next chapter because I'm too busy to be mad at him. Yeah, I'm mad at him right now, so. <laughs> and that's a sign that he does a good job. Yeah. Because I know I did that for the longest time, for a little while in um, the last series we just finished of his. Mm-hmm. And I got mad at him because of something he did to call. Yeah, because he made him into that thing, yes. Yeah, and yeah. I got mad at him and I held mm-hmm. off reading. Well, I, I, I actually dragged my feet to go into that chapter. Yes, I did too because I knew it was coming because yeah. I read it before. And yeah. I was like, I'm not going to read this. I know it's coming. Mm. Yeah, don't like you. I'm not reading this. <laughs> so, of course, the, the more we put it off, the longer it took. But anyway, that's, um, do you have any more to say about um, that? Or? I finished Netflix's Daredevil. I am dying for season two to come out because uh, I ate through. I did a Daredevil marathon, and I finished it, like, in three days. Um, so that was very good. I really enjoyed that. Um, and I also read part of a chapter of The Woman Who Would Be King. It's um, a book about Hatshepsut. Um Hatshepsut was one of, they call her the first female pharaoh. They're still trying to prove whether or not Nefertiti was mm-hmm. actually, uh, was pharaoh. Because they show her with um, a pharaoh's hat and some of the... Doesn't she have a scepter too? Sometimes that's sometimes yeah. the, yeah. the scepter. And yeah. only kings yeah. have this um, motion with both the arms. So they're wondering if maybe after Akhenaten... Um, died if she took over as there. There is a um, second king, a king right after Akhenaten, um, and before King Tut took over, uh, where they don't know where he came from. At first, they thought it maybe was an unknown brother, but now they're wondering if it was actually Nefertiti. Mm-hmm. Um, but wasn't Nefertiti uh, Tut's sister? No, um, that was um, an Oxanamu. Um. And also his wife, because that happened right. a lot that for the ancient yeah. Egypt. Yeah. Because Isis and Osiris were brother and sister and right. married. Right. Um, so that was considered actually a cool thing. Um, but I'm reading this book. It's by Kara Cooney. Um, she's a, a female Egyptologist. Um, she has her own Facebook page and, all, and website and everything. I'm not overly thrilled about how the book is written. It's written almost like historical fiction. That's not what I was prepared to read. Um, it's, I keep double checking her facts elsewhere to make sure that it's not sensationalized because I'm going after the facts of Hatshepsut because Hatshepsut, her, uh, the people who came after her tried to completely erase her from the um, annals of history. They took her out of the uh, king lists uh, that I kept track of all the different kings through the lines. Uh, she was a very fascinating person. She's the one who the Sphinx is supposedly right. uh, Model modeled off of. Off of. So um, she's just a very fascinating person. And I'm reading the book mostly because I want to know more about Hatshepsut. I'm not sure if I uh, care for the way that the book is being written. I'm trying to keep an open mind about it, even if it is. She attributes emotions to Hatchips that she has no way of knowing, um, making it feel more like a fictional book. But I'm I'm staying with it. It just might take me a little bit longer as I research and make sure that the facts are actually facts. She doesn't feel like a real Egyptologist because she's sensationalizing it a little bit. Um, but I'll, I'll give her a chance. Um, because I'm interested in the topic matter. But uh, anything else? What about you, Fraud, about everything? Okay, I'm about a third of the way, maybe not quite halfway through the current Terry Brooks book that we're reading, so I'm at that place where I'm mad at him right now, so I'm not reading. I'll probably read some tonight. Um, I wrote very little, very little this time around. 
I started a new book um, by St. Francis de Sales. Actually, I picked it up. Um, I had it, and I picked it up to look at it. Mm -hmm. So I hope to start that tonight or tomorrow, if I can get through the prologue and the introductions, because they're always huge. I mm -hmm. just I don't know why they make them so long. But um, once I, I'm looking forward to starting to read that. I finished his other book um, about a, maybe a couple of weeks ago. Now, the only author I can really say that I ever am disappointed when he doesn't have an intro prologue type thing is Terry Brooks. I Terry always, Brooks or Eddie? Not, not Eddie. Terry Brooks. Because he explains, well, this is the thought process I was going through when I was right, writing this. Right. Mm -hmm. And the editor made me change this. And this is how my writing's improved. It's actually interesting. Right, right. <laughs> um, and I was disappointed because... This book that we're reading now did not have an yeah, introduction. No, it didn't. It just went right and I, I felt kind of gypped. I was like, where's my intro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, all right. I think that's it basically for autobiography. So there has to be design. Okay. Mm. And I guess royalties, which will then go into um, right. Maryland. So design news. Oh, I forgot to grab them. Do I have any left in here? Grab what? My cards. Oh, I, oh, mine's in my purse. But, and I didn't have any in here. Well, well, you have one right in your hand, don't you? No. This is the... No, uh, I thought you had a... Uh, no, that's the lady you were asking oh, right, for her information. Right. Um, I don't know what happened to my stuff. I put it here. But um, I had printed off for Skin Gypsy Designs. Um... Skin Gypsy Designs. Uh, well, we can show True, but I turned off for Gypsy Designs um, business cards, which I carried to Maryland Sheep and Wool, and still, stupidly enough, forgot to bring here to show you. Um, which will does not mean you won't see it. No, but um, I brought them with me and just started giving them out. Um, yeah, we gave out a lot of stuff. Which was a lot of fun. Basically, it has a picture of all the toys in the front, and in the back it says Franciscan Gypsy Designs. And has that it's available on Ravelry, Etsy, and um, I might have said Crafty as well. So um, that that was what I handed out. I was very excited about that because when I saw this come in, I'm like, yes, this is so exciting. It came from Vista Print, which is very good. That's what does our cups and our mugs and all. Yeah. I mean, our um, bags and T-shirts and all that. Um, I, I'm going to consider, after I'm out of the business cards I have now, going to Moo.com. Not for the cups and everything, because they don't do that. Just for the business cards, because Moo.com has it, uh, allows you to do up to 50 different pictures um, over your whatever amount of cards you have in order. They're a little more expensive, but I think it's because they do more printing. Right. Um, but it's kind of a cool idea, because then people can collect different uh, business cards. I heard about them from Stacy Trock because that's yeah. who she uses, and she says she has people who will collect her different cards, which is kind of cool. It's like Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I'll raise you a bunny and a turtle. That's what the uh, my coworkers are saying. They're like, I've got a turtle and a bunny. What do you have? Um, but so there, there's the business cards. Um, I still have one. I have two patterns now in the active designing phase. One pattern in the sketch phase. Uh, one, one knit, one crochet pattern in the designing phase. And then Tilly is going to be released on May 15th. Is it a, knit a toy or, or something else? Which? The knit. Oh, it's something else. Um, testers, check out the Tilly thread. I have some new tips on there. And um, other videos will be released um, as soon as I finish crocheting the pieces. So I can add videos to the pattern to make the sewing a little easier. Um, all proceeds at this time will be going to, from Francisco Gypsy Designs Patterns, we're going to Autism Speaks until the end of the Autism Awareness Cow Cow. And then I got other things besides um, business cards. I got a mug. Um, from some promo shots I did. It doesn't have Tilly on here because Tilly wasn't um, finished yet when I had done these shots. So you have the kitties. You have Bastion. It's not released yet anyway, so. Yeah. Oops. And the two cardinals. Um, and I love this mug. I've been using it almost exclusively as soon as I got it in. Um, and Mom may or may not be getting home for Mother's Day. 
as is my grandmother. Because Dad was like, she'd like one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on my side of the family. Yes. Yeah. And also, time for yeah. Who does this um, T-shirts. Yes. This came in the day of Maryland Sheep and Wool when we were gone. We got, yeah, we got home. It was here. So it's like, ah. So. I'll let her get up to the. This is, uh, this is actually my favorite picture of all the toys together. Um, Princess King Gypsy Designs. And it's a new way of looking at eyes. So the main picture here. Um, and then. Okay. So they see, whoops, there's Tilly on the back. Is, can I see him? Yeah. See her? Yeah. Here. Sorry, I'm at a weird angle because. Okay, so you can see Tilly here. Gets his own, gets her own little. So the hope being that people will see Tilly in the back and then want to see the front and want to get more information. And this shirt's exactly like that one. Davina has one as well that you saw when she was on. You saw hers. So um, very excited about these. Um, oh, almost more than the mug, <laughs> <laughs> which is hard to do because I use my mugs all the time. And the business card is this. Yes, the business card is this picture. Um, but, yeah, I wish these had come out in time for Maryland Sheep and Wool. But I wore my Batman knitting, mm -hmm. um, dark knit shirt. Right. Uh, and you'll see some of those pictures either at the beginning or end of the podcast. And if you follow us on Instagram or follow some of our friends on Instagram, you'll see pictures of us from um, Maryland, Maryland Sheep and Wool. Not a whole lot, but a few. Yeah, we I, we had all the best intentions to take a yeah. bunch of pictures. Yeah. Didn't happen. No. no. Um, I took some video, but it didn't turn out very well, so that's not going to show and up. And I took some pictures and surprised this very nice gentleman uh, when we met. Well, we'll, we'll go into that. We'll talk about that later. Let's talk about royalties right okay, now. Okay, royalties. We already talked about the gift from Brittany um, from B-Wing. Yes. My best and Ty's cowl and Davina's cowl. Which right. she's insisted she's going to wear like As a, a headband. headband. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, Brittany, I don't know if that's what you intended, but that's what she's doing. Um, the other thing... Before we get to Maryland Sheep and Wool, I ordered, uh, yes, I may have ordered from Heidi, who is Undead Yarn, Nitty Girl. First of all, she gave this to us because she knows we like Avengers. And that's going to be part, we're going to be going to Avengers on, on Friday, Friday as part of a Mother's yeah. Day gift for Mom. Going to Avengers. It basically, it's just an excuse to buy Mom stuff. I like buying her stuff anyway. I have fun. Um, okay. So thank you very much, uh, Heidi, Heidi, for the pencil. Oh, and oh, the card. There it is. Undead Yarn. Undead Yarn. Okay. And I ordered, this is the scan of Autism Awareness I told you. Oh, I you have ordered. a lot of blue Ooh, in that. That was pretty. Look at the teal. Oh, Heidi, this one came out really nice. Ooh, they all did, but I like the color. Lots of blue in this one. Isn't that gorgeous? I want to make a sock head hat out of this, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> I want to use up all the yarn. This is gorgeous. Well, you can for a sock head hat, Mom. You just keep going. But I don't want to make my head... Yeah. And then I ordered her um, Jaws Tonal. That's beautiful. And this is in the werewolf base. And I was going to use it for a toy, but now I'm not sure. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So thank you, Heidi. It came in just fine. This is 462 yards of fingering, and this is 400 yards of DK. Heidi has a great oh my DK. Gosh. Awesome yardage on it. So, and it's very nice. It's not super soft like this, but it's very, very nice. nice. Um, it's better than her other base. The old one she used the to have. The old werewolf. The old werewolf. She, this is a different base that she used to have. I really like it. Mm -hmm. and I love the color on it. It's kind of a tealy, bluey. Oh, it's a lovely color. color. I just love it. I'm using it for a bluebird right now. Mm -hmm. I just haven't worked on a bluebird recently. Yeah. Mostly because I need to get some things off the hook for needles. I'm sorry for the crinkling. No, she's not. Um, no, not really. Okay, so, so I need to put this stuff away so we can look at them. Hang out. on, we need to split these. Yes, but just put them aside for now. I choose Captain America at the very least. Okay, what I don't know who they have. They here. have Captain America, Hulk, Thor, and Tony. Captain America, Hulk, Thor, and Tony. Oh, I don't know. You took the best one. I can let you have Cap. I can no, you can have Cap. I don't care. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. Um, all right. Because I don't have um, Hawkeye. I don't quite get your liking of Hawkeye. I like Hawkeye and I like, um, what's her name? Oh, um, um, yeah. Black Widow. I want Falcon. 
Well, Falcon's not really an Avenger, but I want Falcon. I'm not sure if he ever joins the Avengers in the comics. I want Falcon. <laughs> okay, moving on to Maryland Sheep and Wool news. If you're not interested in Maryland Sheep and Wool, we will say goodbye to you. Because no, we will just chain you to your chair and make you stay. See, I'm a nice person. I don't do things like that. I still have Emily in the closet. Yes, I know. <laughs> She's trying to make a key out of all the fibers I gave her through the keyhole. But anyway, um, if you're not interested in Maryland Sheep and Wool, we will see you next week. Mm -hmm. And we hope you have a wonderful week. If you are interested, we're going to go into that now. Okay, let me just put this away so I can get my... We had a blast. Oh, my gosh. We yeah. had an absolute blast at Maryland Sheep and Wool. We saw so many people. And if we mention people and we don't mention you, it's not because we don't want to. It's just that we had so many people and we meant to write them down, but we got so excited we forgot. Yes. And if we don't know your name really well, we might forget you. But we were so happy to see all of you. Yeah. We tend to remember a little better the names if we knew your name from Ravelry. Or we talked to you a long time. Or we talked to you a long time. Um, if you talked to us on, if you saw us on YouTube but didn't really say hi or something like that, and then you said hi at the festival, we might have a little bit more trouble remembering, remembering you. your name. But that doesn't mean we weren't happy to see no, you. No, we were very excited to see We were very everybody. excited to have people pop up behind us or in front of us or whatever mm -hmm. and say, hey, we watched your podcast. That was really exciting because we still get excited about that. Yes. That makes us happy. Um, I want to mention a few people and then we'll go into stuff. We saw Margie Beth. Mm -hmm. Um that was fun seeing yes, her. Yes, it was. I, I apologize. We saw her to, with her daughter. With her daughter, right. Uh, she had a cowboy hat, too. Yes, she did. And um, we saw Black Jacks, mm -hmm. uh, which was really fun to see her. And actually, it's funny, because when we saw Black Jacks, uh, us exclaiming over seeing her led Lacey one to Lacey us, because she recognized our voices. Yes, she turned around and saw us. We didn't see her. So yes. that was really exciting, because I know Lacey one from real life. Yeah. Um, and we do other things together, including our our retreat in September and all that kind of stuff. So it was nice to see her. And we saw um, Cece Carey, mm -hmm. and we had a nice long conversation with her. Cece Carey's sister and I think it was a friend. I think so. They were there, yeah. and um, we talked to them in the little a hill where they where they well, they're all knitting and crocheting and doing their thing, and there's music and all that kind of stuff. So we saw them there. We had a nice long conversation with her. She's a pistol. Mm -hmm. I like her. Um, I like them all. Of course, we saw Tanya Marie and Lucy um, LW. LW. I keep wanting to call her Lucy Lou. Um, but Lucy LW, they are pips. Oh, my um, gosh. Yes. They are so funny. I mean, we stopped. We, I swear people must have turned around and looked at us because we just squealed and, and hugged in the middle. of the, the, the barn is right here, and we're standing we're, here. We're headed toward it. And we're, then I, I actually see Tanya right for she was at she was at Socks at Rock and, and um, I was just like I just yeah. yelled Tanya as loud as I could, and then a second later noticed Lacey one was in front of her and, and Lucy. Uh, Lucy, Lucy was behind her I think because right. right. I saw Tanya first. There's right. no way I would have seen Tanya above Lucy. No, no. Tanya, uh, Tanya's a little thing. Um, She's cute, um, but yeah, and it turns out that she and Lacey one know, know each, each other. other from real life. It was really funny. Um, so, have you gone to your meeting, Tanya? Yes. Other yes. than when I've had one since. Well, by the time she sees it, she might have. She might have. Um, um, but in any event, we saw, we, we cut, it, it was the opening of the barn. We were going in. They were coming out, and it's a typical driveway size, yeah. walkway in. And we just stood in the middle of that squealing. <laughs> <laughs> Having people take pictures. The, the, there's a good picture of all five of four, us. Four, five of us. Um, I just stopped some random person, and he was really sweet about it and took two Because otherwise, Lacey would, have been, would not have been in any of the Because she was pictures. taking all the pictures. Yeah. And that's not right. We wanted her in the pictures. Uh -huh. That's the only proof we have that she was at this fire festival. That she exists. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It was, it was when Tanya um, and Lucy joined us. Yeah. So we saw them. That was really exciting. We just jammed. And uh, Tanya almost walked out with yarn, the yes. klepto. So yes. Tanya, Tanya tried to walk out with some socks at rock. We said, Tanya, you have to pay for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. She she re realized that she had her mom actually said, "Hey, you still have to go pay for that," so she did. But um, actually, she, I don't think she, I think she went back later to pay. For yeah, it. she, well, she, had, she went back to put it away. Yeah, and then she came back. Uh -huh. It took her five seconds because so socks are actually went under the the fold. I think it was called. Yeah, the fold. Um, she put it back and came back because that was the last shop as you came out. Yeah. So she went and put it back, and we had a blast with them. Um, we saw, uh, and then right while we were talking with them, I forget her name. I forget she stopped her name. us. Yeah, she stopped. Uh, we got a really pretty picture with her. Yes, I don't know her name because I didn't catch it. I was uh -huh. talking to Tanya or to Lacey one. And I'm actually not sure she said her name. But she she was very yeah. complimentary about the podcast and us, and 
It was very nice to meet her. She was a sweetheart. Yes. Oh, back to Cece, um, Carrie. She's been watching us back from when I first started the podcast by people, myself. A couple people were. Yeah. I know Cece Carrie was. I don't know if anyone else was. Um, and then uh, the first one that Margie, Margie Beth, Beth watched, she said there was one of the ones, you all have seen the ones where I've wiped out right after work or something. I've been up all night and um, was falling asleep or slash not feeling well. And she thought that mom was such a horrible person for not giving me a break and letting me yeah. go to bed. I said, you don't understand. I don't tell her anything. She, oh, I understand that now. <laughs> but it was so funny yeah, it was to hear that impression. It and, was very cute. Um, it made me giggle, and I'm not sure if you knew that that was going to make it to the podcast, Margie Beth. But as soon as you said, I'm like, that's got to oh, that, be that, 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 that was just amazing. That 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 goes in PHN lore. That um, been, yeah. So mom is an evil person who holds a whip mm -hmm. behind me, and if I look tired, that's why I'm podcasting. She has a whip on me. It's a wet needle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but um. <laughs> okay, we also met uh, Karen Fay and her daughter. Yes. We haven't seen Karen Fay in a long time. We she, go to different she, masses. She so. goes to our church, but we go to different masses, and we haven't been in touch with her for a while, so it was nice to see her. And unfortunately, we couldn't talk because we were on our way somewhere. To we were my dad. Yeah, for lunch. Oh. Uh, so we couldn't talk to her. Uh, we saw Emily Fibertown. But before um, we saw Karen, we saw someone else who had not yet followed us right? And um, I didn't catch her in the Ravelry group. I didn't catch her name. She said Yeah, it was a really was. quick, because we were headed somewhere, and she was. Yeah, it was a flyby. Some... It was a flyby. We yeah. Kind of, you know, I wish we could have talked to her a little bit. Um, we saw Karen Faye and her daughter, mm -hmm. as I said. We saw Emily, who was Fibertown, which was really nice. And we saw Lala Leslie from the Knit mm -hmm. Girls. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the girl who uh, Lacey one talked to for a little while, but she had that shirt with the face on it um it was she had a podcast i heard of her before yeah oh i know you're talking about i can't think of it um, um she gave us little buttons mm -hmm. shep shep something or sheep something or other um she her podcast was oh there it is it was sheepish yes sheepish, sheepish. um so we saw her yeah um, and we, we got all kinds of paraphernalia um but we saw a whole bunch of people. If oh, we, we want to talk about briefly. Um, well, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. If we missed anybody who said hello, we're so, we apologize, but we really did enjoy meeting you. We should have had a notebook or something to take all this stuff down. Um, it was my first time at Maryland. I was just completely like, oh. and I was unprepared to have so many people recognize us. So it was really, it was really nice. We saw, and going into this thing that Talia wants to show you, while we were waiting in line, uh, uh, at Miss Babs. At Miss Babs. Because we got there really early. We, we got there before Miss Babs opened, about 15, 20 minutes. It was already a line from the cash register out. So we picked up our yarn and got in line. line. Because what happened was apparently Miss Babs allows you to get the yarn that's on the outside, which is the Yowza, which is what we wanted. And It's so, kind of hard not to let you unless you, like, put a tarp over right. it. Right. Well, there, there are ways. People yeah. do. But anyway, she... There were people already in line when we got there before it opened with yarn. Mm -hmm. And then mixed into that was people who wanted to get into the actual booth. So we got, we had the nicest people behind us in the, um, in the line. Oh, I forgot the name of that other lady who, we, who was in line with us and she went in and she couldn't find anything. Yeah, I don't think we ever learned her name. She was really sweet. Uh -huh. um, but anyway, this, this lady has, this other lady and her husband. She has her own shop. Her, shop. her name is Laura Smoot. And one of her shawls were up um, in Miss Babs Yarn in the booth. Uh -huh. um, she's been going to these for six years. For six years. She and her husband have like this system planned out. Yeah, and we don't want to tell them because then everybody will do it and then nobody will get anything bought. Yeah, but um, she's at um, on Ravelry and, she's, um, and she has an Etsy shop. But, yeah, that's they're very sweet. She went up and... What did she do? She found out something for we, you. Well, she found out, first of all, she found out something about a pattern I was looking for. Um, I was trying to get yarn for it to see if I wanted to get yarn for it. And she was looking up to see what the yarn was and whether it was variegated or not variegated. We finally decided that it was probably striped, you know, that we just, the lady just used colors. But anyway, that's the first thing they did. The other thing was her husband had mentioned that Socks at Rock was at Maryland. I said, I didn't see it in, in the, in the um, vendor list. And maybe it was a late thing. Well, they went and they looked and they found it. It wasn't under socks at rock. It was under the flock. And so they came back and they found They came us. back and told us. We were still in line at Miss Babs. We were at Miss Babs' line for an hour. Um, I'm not we... sure how they got out 
and back before they must have booked it back because um they were in line behind, behind us. us yeah and, but they were in the and credit we split line because they were in the credit line we were yeah. cash but um but we we went we did quite a bit of damage we are we go to miss babs first and, and god bless him he oh he was a, he's an angel i mean he, <laughs> her husband sits there and he holds the yarn and he talks to people and he gives out cards and he takes oh cards. yeah he gave cards he gave buttons he yeah, gave yeah. you know I mean, he's he, really got it down to science and we did the podcast with me that he was just sitting there on a little fold out thing and god he, bless him he, really really nice individual they're both super so sweet and i'm hoping that she will join the group or at least stop by and if you get the chance her etsy shop is um uh, hang on let me get the card out again um her etsy shop is I don't know. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't say, but she's on Etsy, but she's Laura Smoot. Laura Smoot. I don't know what her, but uh, maybe it's just Laura Smoot. It might be, because um, even her email address is Laura Smoot. So, and I would say look for her on Ravelry as well. She has a uh, a web page at sock knitting Laura at blogspot dot com, and Laura is dot blogspot yeah, it's, and it's Laura is spelled L A R A. It's not yeah. L A U R A. It's L A R A. This will be in the show notes if Ty remembers. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll write down her name. Uh, no. Why not? Because you told me to. In that nasty, mean voice. But um, they were very, um, sweet. very. Nice. We met some super people. Oh I, my god! I'm standing in line with yarn, and I was not going to get any more because we were getting ready to pay. And this guy comes out with it's his wife's yarn, I think. Comes out with a. I mean, he could have been knitter. Could have been knitter, but I think he had his wife following him. Maybe mm -hmm. it was his yarn. I don't know. Anyway, he comes out with an armful of yarn. In some of it's like three or four TARDIS blue color. It was called Zynga. And I'm like, oh, I want that yarn. I said, oh, he heard me and Tyler talking about it. He said, oh, I'll show you where it is. So he showed me, I mean, he, didn't have, he showed me, took me around. I couldn't get in. He crouches down, pulls out, how many do you want? One or two? I said, just one. He pulled out one and got it for me. I didn't have to do anything. I just had to stand there and he got it for me. I thought that was the sweetest thing. Oh my gosh, so nice. So nice. People can be very, very nice. I mean, you hear about people who can be kind of rude or whatever. I have not no. come across that. Um, not, not at Maryland and not at Shenandoah either. It was, nice. those people were very, very sweet. Um, I'm sorry we missed Nikki. Yes. But um, Nikki, uh, 1829, uh, Nicola's World. Nicola's World. She drove up from Pennsylvania, but she had her Nana with her, and they wanted to look they at the main, the main yeah. bar. And they can't, she, she can't, can't rush, rush her, she can't rush her Nana. That's no, right. that's not right. That's that's right. So, um, we ended up missing Nikki. We missed Nikki, we missed Gojen, and we missed, um, Knit one, heart two. I forget which one it was. The one I didn't hair. know them to look for them. Yeah. But I was looking for Nikki actively. Mm -hmm. um, we looked all over the place. So backward and forward, we were going. They must have been in the building when we when we left. Yeah. Because we we had to go to the restrooms before we went and met my husband, who was back by the sheep dogs, which is at the far end. Mm -hmm. So we looked coming up and back, and we just didn't see him. So. Yeah. Um. And Emily, we saw at the podcast mm -hmm. meetup. Yeah. And then Tanya, we ran into in the bars. I, I kept sending text messages to Emily. She probably thought, oh, this woman, here she is again. Cause, Emily, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, she, okay, fine. And then at lunchtime on the podcast, I said, Emily, where are you? Every podcast or meet up? <laughs> I said Nikki quite a few uh, And she's like, she goes, text like, yes, yes, mom. Um, but uh, it, we did get to see Emily, which was nice because I, I missed her last year. I mean, I saw her in the crowd, but I, didn't, I missed her last year. So I was glad I got to see her. Um, okay, let's get into the obsessions before we, not the obsessions, the, um, this is the bling. I'm not going to go into it. No. Um, our yarn. We and forgot to bring the uh, little bits and bobs that we wanted to give to Emily. Yeah. Yeah, we did. But I, that's okay. I've given her some. But I'll see her at Shenandoah most likely. Do we want to start with um, the biggest first? No, let's start with the smallest first. Okay. The, the, we only bought at two shops. Um, we bought at Hobbledy Hoy slash um, uh, Maribel Jen. Well, what, what really helped before we go into that is because we went to Miss Babs first, uh, and the yardage is so good for the price. I would look at prices for other people and see the yardage and then be like, Meh, and because, put it away. Because generally we were looking for worsted. Right, because I don't do a lot with fingering. Yeah. Um, I mean, I get fingering, but I, I, I generally look for worsted. And I go to Miss Babs, and that's why I pick up is worsted. And so I, I get most of my damage done in that first hour. At so it was a lot easier to put stuff away after I spent money at Miss Babs. Right. But we made a point of going to Maryville. We met, yeah, I didn't go to Gourmet Stash because I'm going to try to hit her in, um, in Shenandoah. And the same thing for um, Dragonfly Fibers. Dragonfly Fibers. The Dragonfly Fibers. Miss Babs is my big fall down in Maryland. Dragonfly Fibers is my big fall down in Shenandoah. 
but I couldn't afford to fall down at both places. No, <laughs> no. This is what I picked up. I, I looked at this at Shenandoah last year, mm -hmm. at last fall. This is silver screen. It is a fingering weight. I was going to only pick up one, but I crochet. I'm not sure I'm going to knit it. So I bought two of them. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Okay, Mom, do you know you have a pin in there? Okay. Um, I don't know where that came from. It's silver screen. It's 80% merino, 10% nylon, 10% cashmere. Mm. I could technically use this with the yarn Heidi gave me, mm -hmm. that blue yarn that she gave me. She gifted to me. Um, but this is at, it's very soft, and I love the colors. I mean, it's, it's very pretty. All these different grays from like a medium to a very light, almost cream. And I love Marigold Jen. She recognized me when I walked in, and that made me happy. You recognize me. I'm going to buy something. Oh, Marigold Jen, I need to, and if you could um, make a note of her name, I need to remember to post in your group my la my product that I made from last year that I bought you. Yeah, I have you. something I made. Because I finished it. I, I used your yarn for something as well. I have to see if I have a picture of it. So. It was my Oklahoma Hello Zuzu's Petals. I was going to give that away, and then I couldn't bear oh, to because I loved it so I much. remember what I made. I made Grandma's um, cowl, the uh, Cerebell cowl. Mm -hmm. That was in Marigold Jen's, that green. Okay. So I hope I, ha I think I have a picture of that. I'll, I'll post it in your group because I did use it. Now, yeah. the one I picked up at Marigold Jen was a little bit outside of my normal. Um, this is her DK Weights, 250 yards, and it's a scenic route. Um, and I don't think you actually saw this when I picked it up. Mm-hmm. I glanced at it. Um, I was surprised. Yes, it's not it's usually... More, it's almost more my colors. Than yeah, yours. it's really not something I usually pick up, but it's very lovely. I was thinking of Azusa's when I picked it up. Um, of course, I had to finish Azusa's. I currently have on the needles. Apparently, I can't decide whether my favorite color is blue or green. Well, this is very much your color. I might make this for you. Uh, I benefit. But I'll, I'll make up my mind more when I get to that point. Do you want to show the one we got that's the same? All, oh, all yes. of our purchases now come from Miss Bab. Yes. So we're going to show the one we picked up that's the same. And you're not going to be surprised. I don't know. Oh, this smells so good. It's called... Um, I picked it up first, I'll have you know. Gotta Love Me is what it's called. Well, I didn't um, pick it up to you decided to put one back. I picked this up with um, it in mind to make the Miss Bab's One Way It's Gained... Gain. Way, way it's gained on number three and by um, Susan Anderson. Susan Anderson. I don't know if I'm going to do which number I'm going to do. Not number one, probably either number two, number three, and I haven't seen number four yet. So whichever, whichever one, I want to make one of hers with this. I I don't want her to do number three. I'm going to do whatever I want. But this is very much my colors, and it's mine as well. As you can tell, I'm wearing it as um, well. But it's not my first color. It's very pretty. So very very pretty. Okay, now. Nice and smooshy. Okay, the color I was telling you about, we have more than me. You want to do the next one? No, I only have two other colors. Okay. The color that, the other color that, um, the color I was telling you about that the man helped me, I'm going to have to get another one probably. This is Zynga. Isn't that gorgeous? This is definitely my color. Yes. I, mean, I tried to get her to get two, and now she's going to pick up another one yeah. online. Well, she should have picked up two. I should have. I should have. But I didn't want to spend that much because I didn't know what I was going to be doing later. So I'm hoping, she doesn't have it in right now. But if I, I, I have some Madeline Tosh. It's in the, um, oh, what's that color? It's kind of like stained glass. I can't remember the name. Of anyway, it goes very well with this. So I could use that with this if I wanted to for maybe Tanya's Raspberry Cordial mm -hmm. or something. Okay, your turn. Um, how, much, how many more different colors do you I have? have I only have two. I have two different colors. Okay. I have two different colors. Because mine go together. I have two uh, of one color and one of another. Okay. Um, so hold on, let me mark off my row. We didn't do quite as much damage this year because I, I don't know about Talia, but I feel kind of guilty. Yeah. I have so much stuff and I need to get through stuff. I some haven't of it. made all, you know, knit up all the yarn that I already have. Right. Um, and I still don't, I haven't finished Miss Babs. I have, even though I at least have it actively in a project. Right. That I worked on the entire time I was at the festival. Right. Um, every single picture you'll see of me at the festival, I have my knitting out. And the, the handbrake that I'm doing right now, that is Miss Babs. So I didn't, I don't think I said that. That was Miss Babs. The second color I picked up was actually this one. This is pewter. That's pretty. I like that. So it's really pretty. It's a dark gray. Um, I tend toward the darker grays and the lighter ones. I like that, but it's hard for me to work. I have to be able to see it. So I picked up three of these. So 
Okay. Um, very nice. Now I picked up, this is very similar to my black watch. I just, I must like this color. This is called Franklin. Yeah, my colors. Isn't that gorgeous? I've come to the conclusion that I'm not a big variegated person or even a stripe. I like tonals and semi-solids and solids. I like to have a little depth in it, but, and I have a project in mind for this. It's a poncho, so I'm, I'm looking forward to making that. And the last one I picked up, I picked up two of these, and this was sort of a last minute thing. I saw it, mm -hmm. thought about it, and then snagged it. Um, I almost picked that up and said, I don't know what I'm going to make with it. Um, and the colorway is squash blossom. Yes, I almost picked that up. Um, hmm. And I was going to make a miscellina, that's what it's called. Yes, miscellina. Um, this skein is for Messalina. The second, the other skein, um, and this should be enough for Messalina. It's for herself. Davina wanted it. And I was like, oh, I bought it for myself. Well, we can always pick up another one. Yeah. Um, she wanted me to make a sweater out of it for her. And I'm like, I was not planning on making a sweater. Um, maybe eventually I'll make a sweater in this color for, for her. She was trying to lay claim to our yarn mm -hmm. um, for different projects for her. Um, so this, she hasn't quite adjusted to the idea that I can have the yellow things. Right. Um, she thinks she owns all things that are yellow. <laughs> um, but I was picturing kind of like a golden idea for the Messalina to make it kind of rich kind of thing. Um, my other skein is going to be worked together with this. It actually looks pretty. Um. When she first showed me, I said, Ooh. <laughs> and I was like, well, I didn't ask you anyway. Well, she did. No, I, I just, I stated I'm going to work these together. You opened your mouth, and therefore I can state things. And I was like, I didn't ask your opinion. I don't care. <laughs> I, so, it looks really pretty. Um, this is in my um, new design that I'm working on. Okay. Which means knitted color work, which I don't really do. My last skein, I almost didn't pick this up, but I love it. Isn't that pretty? I almost picked that one up, and then I was like, here, you take this. Because I was going to pick it up, but I wasn't sure. And this is um, Nori. It is so pretty. It's a very foresty green, and it does have some variation in it, some darker and mid medium. It's not overly tonal, just enough to give it a little depth. That Miss Babs does some wonderful oh my gosh, job yes. on her dog. And they gave us candy while we were yeah, in Yeah, they went by two or three times with mints and kisses. I, said, yeah. I like I like kisses. I do kisses. So Me too. But yeah, so that's basically what we did. We didn't do as much damage this year as we did last year. We didn't need to. I mean I looked at socks at rock, mm -hmm. but the colorway I wanted, they only had in fingering. Right. And I none of the others called out to me. It was kinda of like a grackly color. Mm -hmm. Um if they'd had that it was in, black with a purple bluish sheen. Did they have it fingering or only fingering. Oh so if I had known it was fingering I might have looked at it again. Or it might have been lace. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was because it had a lot of yardage. Okay. Well, that's um, what I wanted. I was very excited. And then it's like, oh, they don't have it in the weight I want. Because I think socks that rocks fingering only comes in 400. Oh, no. And I would have to get two of them. So I would. I was kind of like, well, I don't need to have that right now. And I had already bought. I Had I already bought this? Or, no, I know. No, Marigold Jen was toward the end. Yeah, I knew I wanted to get this, uh, something from Marigold Jen. Um, because she's one of the ones I always stop at. Mm -hmm. And... This one here, um, like I said, Miss Babs, we did a lot of damage there first. So that's basically what we got. It was fun. We had yes, a blast. Yes, we didn't do nearly as much damage as we could have done. No. I, Although we did finally get Lacey one to buy some things. Yes, we did. But she wanted to. Yes, she, she was having difficulty finding things. And she it was almost, it was like an hour out from podcaster meetup time. No, it wasn't an hour out. We, we had to hurry. That's right. It was like half an hour yeah, out from uh -huh. podcaster meetup. And we were like, look, you have not bought anything. Thing yet. And, and she knew she wanted to buy something. And I said, well, let's go here. She was looking for a well, rustic yarn. she said yarn. something about wanting to do a poncho. I was like, well, let's go look for the yarn for your poncho. Right. And said, she wanted rustic yarn. I said, well, we don't want to go to that place because this game is like $75 a piece. It was a Beeson yarn or something. I mean, I, I not I, Not Beeson. Beeson. No, 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 no. No, it was another place. One. But I think, I think that Tanya actually bought some yarn there. <laughs> but you could get some that was less price, uh, less pricey. But, um, it was kind of expensive for my taste. So I, I said, well, let's go look in the main exhibition hall. Well, the only color I liked they had in fingering weight, and I right. really don't work a lot of fingering weights. Well, I, I, I forget what the name of this place is that, I, that we managed to stumble on. It was right as you walked in the main exhibition hall to the right. We can and ask Lacey one. Yeah, it's a, it's a Russian-based uh, yarn, and 
the skeins were super affordable. If I hadn't already bought some, I almost bought more yarn simply because it was super affordable. Um, I didn't really look at it too closely, even though the colors were beautiful because they had some vegetation in it, and mm -hmm. I, it drives me nuts when I had to knit with vegetation. Yeah. Well, Lacey, I'm constantly picking stuff out. Lacey one has used that yarn before, and she said that um, it washes, it washes really, well. really well, and it gets soft and stuff like that. So I might consider that if I wanted to do another poncho, because it is very rustic and heavy. So it would have to be something that, that is very, um, you want to wear it for some cold, cold weather. Yeah. But it was very nice. Um, we saw some people in the beginning of the of the main exhibition hall. She was playing some kind of instrument and doing something so the doll the dolls did kind of like some version of a uh, uh, looked like kind of a version of an Irish dance or something. They were dancing as she was playing, hmm. and that was kind of nice. Yeah, I, I was uh, busy sticking with Lacey one. She didn't feel completely abandoned. I want to make sure she actually, she actually bought something. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was I was I, there to tempt her, and I also it was kind of warm, so I got into two in close the place for too long a time I needed to get out. Oh my gosh, is it hot. I have like this heat blister all over my shoulder. I have mm -hmm. complete breakout on yeah. the shoulder from where the strap of my um, Ravelry bag was hanging. Because my skin's pretty sensitive and with the between the heat and the rubbing of this strap, my my shoulder hurts. Um, and it, I've got breakout all over it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so basically, the, on that very nice note, um, we did have a wonderful time at Maryland, mm -hmm. and I know that some of you went on Sunday. I hope you had a good time. Yes. Uh, we were very happy to meet all the people. It was just, it was fun. It, it was, was a lot fun. of fun. We brought our own lunch this year because we weren't going to pay the prices for the vendors for the food. We were more than happy to pay the prices for the vendors for the yarn and things, but not for the and food. And the food was well, like by the time we were, we got to the point where we could eat, we were so hungry that it tasted like the best food ever. Yeah. Well, we made our own stuff, so we knew we got what we wanted. Mm -hmm. I always feel like it's kind of sacrilegious to serve lamb when you have all these sheep and everything around there. <laughs> I always feel bad about them. Um, I'll make sure if I eat sheep there, I'll sit near the sheep and be like, yeah, you're nasty. Oh, I hope, you know, I hope one of the ram goes, bam. Um, but anyway. Maybe I should get a picture of Davina petting Donnie. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right. So anyway, we want to uh, kind of wind this down for you. We want to thank you. Oh, for, my gosh. Yeah, we do need to. Yeah, we want to thank you for joining us. I, we knew this was going to be a long one, which is why we didn't do some of the things we normally do. Uh, we want to thank everybody who has donated prizes for autism awareness, and we want to thank uh, Maria Wilhelmina and Bella Sox for their uh, donations that we are using still for the um, for the prizes for our CalCals. As we've said multiple times, we can't do it without you, nope. either as the group or as donators, so we really appreciate all that you do for us. We love having you in the group, and, um, well, I guess we should just kind of say goodbye, right? Yeah, I guess so, because, I mean... Yeah. That's about it. So um, we wish you um, a very... Uh, so should I press stop now? No. We should, I mean, we, I, we, we obviously don't need you to finish the podcast since, you know... Are you quite finished? Yeah. We wish you all a very blessed week full of every good thing, knitting, crocheting, crafting, whatever it is you like to do. And we'll, we'll see you next week. This is Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast, episode 153, and that's a wrap.